once again. I'm getting started at six and a half minutes instead of five. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's try this again. Greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today I'm not going to be playing Fallout. I'm going to be playing East, uh, the remake of East 4, Memories of Celsetta. Uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'm having a lovely weekend. <laughs> South Florida seems to have calmed itself down a little bit. It's actually nice and overcast outside. It doesn't look like a gigantic nuclear explosion outside my office today, which is always nice. Somewhere around here is my feline co-host, Cleopatra. She will at some point wake up, but at the moment she's being adorable and sleeping on, uh, on my bed. So she will, uh, she will give us at least uh, a little bit of time to play this. Uh, let's get started here. Let's go in game. There we go. Yep, and if my animated border is still in uh, in pride uh, mode here, <laughs> so at some point I'm gonna have to fix that. But for now, we'll we'll leave it. Uh, all right. So without any further ado, here, why don't we get started? When last we played Memories of Silsetta, we had uh, <laughs> would help if I actually hit play, wouldn't it? We had a uh, situation where we see Adol going into a town. Turns out the town's name is Kaznan. But um, okay, why are we doing all this why are you asking me this just yeah save and launch why is it running the uh, configuration tool that's odd right is it because i changed something maybe it's because i changed something no but it's even remembering that i turned hdr off so i'm not sure what its story is yes save and launch and it should show up here in a second there it goes beautiful thing Okay. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. So let's load. Oh, right. I don't need to be doing that. I could be. Yeah. Let's go with that. Uh, what are we doing here? Seriously? Oh, did it? Did it revert the buttons again? Oh, that's so annoying. Why does it revert the buttons? Um, okay, how do I change that? I think I hit the gearbox and the plus sign. Okay. That's not what I want. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Apparently I have to do that every time I mess with this. So, that's great. That's, that's just fucking wonderful. Okay. So one thing I do want to do here... Six. Yeah, we don't need. I don't think we need that that loud. Voice will still keep that loud, but I don't think we need the game music that loud. All right, that looks like a much more reasonable volume. Okay. Difficulty. Yep. Okay. Everything else looks good. Okay. So what we're doing here? Okay. So yeah, we woke up as at all, and this town of Kaznan. We don't really know who we are. We don't really know much about us. We've been getting a bunch of memories together. This dude's name is Duran. I always think Duran Duran. Yep, Duran. And uh, he is an information broker. I'm actually just going to turn that. There we go. That's a little better. <laughs> it was still a little loud for me, but uh, the game levels look, look pretty good. So I don't want to turn the game down anymore. And... We apparently bought a lot of information off of him, and the governor general of the area does happen to want the forest of Celsetta explored and is willing to pay a bounty for it. So we took her up on that, and the main reason we're going into the forest of Celsetta is we think we're going to get our memories back. We know we went in there once before, and word is that when you go into the forest, you lose all sense of direction, time, everything else. And so, without any further ado, I think we've already also got the best weapons we're going to get. Let's see, that's that. Okay, there's no other button for that. Leave it to me. All right. Okay, that's how we switch that button once we get out into the field. Okay, I still can't do that. There, yeah, fine. Let's go to this. Let's inspect that. Yeah, we don't need to go to Kaznan City now. Let's go to the Beast Plains. We have a bit of a fast travel system here going. Right. 
There we go. That's the guard. Oh, shit. Ow, ow. Oh, he's already dead. Part of it. Hey, freak bot. That's great timing. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go into the time. Let's go in here. Raid time. <laughs> hey, guys. I appreciate that. Greetings, raiders. <laughs> Fucking spiders. Oh, did. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Oh, no. <laughs> See, that's what you need. That's what you need. My my feline co-host Cleo for she kills every type of spider you could possibly fucking imagine. I'm gonna turn down my volume a little bit more. I was blasting myself out. And uh, so yes, welcome Raiders. I am Resplendent Seraph. I play a bunch of uh, RPGs. I think I think I know everybody that came over in that particular raid. But you know, good old uh, Twitch social conventions, just in case. <laughs> so uh, oh, wait. God damn it, Resplendent Bot is drunk again. <laughs> or did I did I spell it wrong? I spelled it wrong. I missed an E. God damn it. Let's try that again. This time without the fail. Ah. I I'm not even on my wireless keyboard downstairs. I can't even blame it on that. There we go. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, we're off to a sterling start here, folks. Yeah, right. It's a little Spider-Man meme. I was looking at that, and going, "The fuck is Resplendent Bot doing?" So I'm not the biggest drinker, but clearly Resplendent Bot makes up for it for both of us. It's drunk all the time. <laughs> so yes, welcome everybody. And uh, while we're at it, yeah. next time. Congratulations again on making affiliate. That's pretty awesome. They're playing Shining. For, uh, he's playing Shining Force right now. I'm reading the damn text on there. Uh, Shining. For, oh my God. Shining Force Three is is a cool ass game. I still one of the first games I ever watched somebody play way before Twitch or anything else. I would hang out at my friend's house, and he was playing Shining Force Two at the time. And I'm like, you don't have to stop. Let's just hang out and I'll watch you play. Uh, so literally, Shining Force was the first game I ever just watched somebody else play. I wish I had had the presence of mind to go, you know, other people might think this is fun too. I should have I should have started like a gaming Twitch like if esque streaming company back then when I had that thought. Uh, alas, my business sense isn't isn't as acute uh, <laughs> as it really should have been. Also, I thought I was weird and nobody else would really like watching other people play games. Turns out a lot of people do. So yeah, let's get this party started here. Let's go back to things. All right. Assuming I could quit banging my hand into the uh, in the desk there. But yes, greetings everybody. We're literally just getting started here, as I'm getting reused to how all this shit works. So here's the campsite we had. We're gonna. S all right. So. That takes us to the wetlands. Okay, that's... I want to see what that is. Oh, it's not going to let me see what that is? That's awesome, thanks. Alright, fine. I guess it really doesn't matter much because we're going to get stuck either way. This area we couldn't get to. There was some sort of, like, barrier there. And at least if there's a way past it, I don't know what it is. Uh, said so just something real quick. So essentially got into one of those battles with one enemy. Oh, yeah. Endless spiders. Endless bullshit. Yeah, right? Oh, man. Yeah, that could happen. I'm actually lucky that didn't happen to me more playing Earthbound. Because it's super easy to happen. Yeah, I'd really rather not. All right, so let's see. That goes into that. That's not what I wanted to do. But good to know that's what that button does. Well, shame we didn't kill something with that, but oh well. That's not what I'm looking for either. Yeah, that's the button I'm looking for. <laughs> so, uh, yes, welcome to Seraph Relearns how to play the fucking game I was playing before. So I think if I just go up along the stream, that takes us to that labyrinth we couldn't figure out before. And yeah, that other door down there. 
is the other way. All right, so we're getting here. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. Leave it to me. Whatever. There we go. Go to lurk for a bit. Get some unhealthy, greasy fast food. Nice. Enjoy, dude. We'll be here when you're back. You know, fuck it. These guys aren't worth the effort. Although I could just go back and heal his poison effect, but I'm a little curious to see if we can figure out. Okay, there's that. Find an opening! Focus on offense! There we go. I did want to zoom out a little bit, but you know what? This is fine. Okay. I'm actually sticking with the stick shift for right now. Alright, so here are these idiots, and they're still confused by the statue. Okay. So I think this is what we're going to do. We just walked in this way. Yep. Okay. So let's go up this way. Yep, there's our statue. Same thing. We just keep going up in the same direction. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't think so. But I just want to see something. Now that we've gone up once or twice. If I exit this way. Okay. Good. That still takes us that way. Perfect. Oh, right. We don't have a map. That's what really kills. Okay, so... What's going on here? Let's take a look. Assuming there's nothing up with the statue. Zoom out as much as possible. Let's get as big of a snapshot of this room, for lack of a better word, as anything else. Okay, so that way, you just go straight back here. I don't see anything else to grab. Just go this way. Wait, that's different. Okay. Okay. So the first way we have to go right. Whoops. Okay. All right, fair enough. We go. That doesn't regenerate. Fair enough. Okay, so that... Let's not go trip that. Hmm. Alright, so we got a couple of ways we can... It's not great that we have to fight these assholes. Yeah, that's the part. Get to right, that's that attack. Wait a minute. Seraph has an idea. Also, one of the reasons why I quit when I did at the end of uh, last stream when I was just really tired. Because you're, uh. I'm just getting warmed up. Yep, we'll gain a little level. Doo doo doo. Alright, flowers over here. I think I just test a hypothesis here. And now we're back to the statue. Okay. Never mind. I think I've this figured out. So we go this way. Now we're going to go up. Yep. All right. That's, that's not so bad. We just follow the flowers. Uh, 
I've already forgotten. Okay, that's up here. Did I got this one? Yep, we already got that one. Helps that your uh, party member attacks them. So it's very easy to notice those. Thank you. All right. I wonder how many of these there are going to be. Go away. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. All right. So good to know they just respawn. That's super awesome. That's a raise my... Whoa. Or just completely raise my uh, microphone arm here. Him. Jeez. Good grief. Hey, you. There we go. All right. That's a little better. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's better. Uh, no. Oh, crap. No. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Thank you. Okay. I didn't even know I could pull that microphone arm out over there. Oh, so lame. Got <laughs> another uh, statue. Wait. Did I go the wrong way? Or did I just find another statue? Those look a little different. Okay, a different one. Man, that looks suspiciously like the same one that uh, Commander Leo was at. Okay. The presence of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The air is still and tranquil. We have a fucking map now? That would be nice if we had a fucking map. Hey, look at that. We got a map again. So I wonder where we are. That's not the map I wanted. Mm. Okay, the real map. So I'm still not here. So we emerged from... We went through that. And got here. Lovely. All right. So I guess maybe now that we're here, we can explore this area? Well, whatever. Yep, let's set up a tent. Let's do it. And we know from last time, whenever we set up a tent, we'll regain another memory as well. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the split spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored. Supposedly, a kingdom flourished in this forest about 800 years ago. The ruins people find all over... Oh, right. The ruins people find all over Celsetta are somehow connected to it. What kind of kingdom was it? And what happened to it? I've been trying to find answers to these questions by investigating every ruin I come across and reading up on all the old legends. I do not actually remember that person. Was that somebody that we met back in Kaznan? Hey. Looks like you remembered something else. What happened? Okay, and obviously... All right, so probably not, because otherwise, cause if it was one of the people we talked about, I'll be like, hey, I was talking to so-and-so. So -and -so. I was talking to someone. Uh, there was a kingdom in this forest. Kingdom? That'd be one huge find. Wait a minute. You know those ruins the miners dug up in Kaznan? Those could be somehow All related. Right. Either way, the trail's getting warmer, you know? At least we know we're making some progress here. Let's get going. The plot thickens here. Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible. Oh, joy. Well, let's go get them. Actually, before we do anything else, let's save. Hell yeah, we're saving. Good. All right. All right, so that wasn't so bad. Yeah, I mean, so at the end of last stream... 
I was at my wit's end with that particular puzzle. It's amazing how uh, just getting a good night's sleep and coming back to it with fresh eyes, how much easier puzzles can be. Oh boy, let's get this thing. Yeah, I should have done against that. Oh, you're poisoned again. Damn it. Let's explore. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Okay, so we got a bunch of fucked up shit over here. Fine, I guess we'll attack this thing. Fucking girl. Alright, we can get this one. We got Topaz, whatever the fuck that means. Let's go see what's going on over here. Yeah, we got a memory. We're getting tons of those. Oh, right. We still have to go back to uh, Kaznan and talk to the cat and give it some... Give it a nut. We're getting close to the memory. Liking that dash slash. I don't know what it's actually called, but I'm liking that attack just to close the distance. Hey, buddy. Sure, give us the coal. Why not? Lovely. Leave it to me. All right, let's just be Durin while that fucking paralysis runs its course. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hey, Darks. <laughs> oh my God, I hate the paralysis uh, condition. All right, now that we've dealt with that, let's go in. Maybe we've got an item. Here's paralysis. No, we got nothing for paralysis. No, it's just a really, really, really annoying. Fucking status condition. It's a good question. Where? Where am I? Maps, book, and models were scattered in disarray throughout a dimly lit room. Adol didn't recognize a single one of them. I've been in this room once before. Yeah, I don't know that room. But we'll take a strength increase. And at least... Oh, come on. I thought the memory would cure the... Unless it did. Leave it to me. We'll just let that all be a little effective here for a minute. Yeah, I just gotta be more careful about the, around those fuckers. Ah, I thought I dodged it. Alright, asshole. Okay. 
So we've got an area that we can now leave that way. Let's go see what's down here. I don't think there's anything else down here. Yeah, all right, fine. Take that. Right. Oh, we didn't get that treasure chest. All right, so we can go... All right, we can't go up. Oh, right, we were in this uh, area before when we were up there. We just couldn't get any further down. So now we've reached this spot. All right, let's go get that treasure chest. Assuming we can. There were a bunch of treasure chests so far that have been like underwater and we can't get to them. Like that one. We can't get to it anyway. Fucking thing. All right, we'll have to come back later. Not sure what's up with that. I'm guessing at some point we'll get either an item that lets us swim or an item that will just let us go to the very bottom. Jadona Crater? Oh, fuck. Well, the music in this area certainly is pretty awesome. Let's explore. Uh, I thought I was going to get a lot of them in that. Did that time. Wow, I still missed that guy, though. I missed that guy. There we go. I'm like, uh, I'm stuck. That would be a super lame reason to have to, like, gotta find you a yellow submarine. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious, right? Oh, what kind of wonderful bullshit is this? Yeah, those fuckers had I'm gonna poison you all over it. Damn. I'm really trying to avoid that. Man, you're poisoned and, uh... I'm poor Durin. Okay. Those guys are dead. Let's go check this out. It's a shame it's just a bunch of rotting fruit. I'd rather get, like, real fruit. Fucker. Rotor droplet. Mm, I wonder what that does again. Ah, now we've got two of them. That'll revive a fallen ally. Hey, Deep Fry, how are you? We are playing East 4. For, for better or worse. Actually, we're doing okay right now. We got through that really weird labyrinth that I, uh was confounded by last time. There we go. Oh my god, you're still moving? Wow. Yeah, moving could be a process, man. <laughs> it's never fun. Not a fun endeavor. I wish you luck with that. Thanks for coming to hang out with us while you do all of that wonderful packing and unpacking. This is rare. 
Oh, okay. Peace Fang is a very common material in the later games, so it's not that much of a surprise to see it here, but I'm, I'm a little surprised to see it in a treasure chest. So yeah, so far my take on East 4 Memories of Celseta here is it's a little more... It's a little more sophisticated than East 7. Ooh. Eyelash, sorry. <laughs> well, glad to help. See if I could get that whatever just fell in my eye out of it. Oh my god. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that hurts. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, from what little I have played of E7, uh, this is definitely the E7, uh, combat system. And, um, but with a couple of other quality of life changes to it too, it's a little more sophisticated, but basically when we do play E7, it's, it's going to be this as far as a, um, a game engine standpoint, but I do see some uh, aspects of the later games in here as well. It does act as a nice bridge from Falcom's combat system as it continues to evolve. So for the most part, what's interesting about the E series, at least to me, is that generally speaking, every time Falcom makes another E game, they learn from the game before it. And so it's very interesting how each subsequent game tends to be much better than the one before it. So for a lot of other series, maybe the best games were early on or whatnot, but with East, as they go, um, you know, as Falcom does, continues doing East games, they just keep getting better and better. Uh, at a certain point in the moving process, paying someone to do it for you, yes, absolutely. At this stage of my life, uh, I will never, I will never move myself or have my friends go, you know, do that uh, with me. I, I will just pay them. I will just pay some professionals to do it. I'm I'm never doing that again. Uh, like when I was in my 20s and 30s, you know, moving a bunch of stuff really wasn't that big of a deal. But yeah, now that I'm like 45, uh-uh, just just no, <laughs> just just no. <laughs> that is uh, that is not happening anymore. Ooh, okay. So we want to go. We'll want to go to our right for sure. But you know what? Let's. Let's head to the left, very briefly. It's also saved to make sure we're not making a mistake about it. Uh, I think that's the worst part. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think what's going to happen here, oh, is... Oh my goodness. All right. Well, at least I dodged it when it was going to attack me. So. Since it's going to keep you from getting in there. Ooh, okay, we got an emerald. I think the emeralds, for the most part, are just good for selling stuff. One thing. Yeah, we don't have any artifacts. That's what we have equipped. Got a bunch of armors. Yeah, that we have equipped. And the shield ring we have equipped. Oh, we got those equipped. Yeah, I think we just sell these at some point. Oh my god, we've got 200 plant materials. That doesn't surprise me. We just got tons of that shit. Okay, and then this well has us to leave. Alright, let's backtrack now. I just want to make sure we weren't missing anything super obvious. Let's go to the tree. I think we've... Oh, also... Ooh, we're now at 30%. So we could go back. Alright, so once we go in here and deal with whatever's in here... Well, we're here. This is the point that's marked on the map. Man, what an amazing place. That looks like a village. 
That is a village. Okay. Komodo village. There is a village at the tree. Go figure. Well, maybe someone here recognizes us. Uh, there are houses up there in the trees. I think people actually live here. Really makes you appreciate how adaptable mankind can be. It's true. You remember coming here before? Yeah, I guess that'd be a little too easy if you could remember everything just like that. Either way, we'll never know what we're in for if we keep standing out here. Gonna have to go in and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was random. Uh, what? You're you're that red-haired outsider who came here before. Awesome. Tell me anything you can tell me about me. <laughs> Looks like they remember you at least. That sure makes things easier. At least I hope it's gonna make things easier. You think you guys could show us in? Uh, show you in? If that's a joke, I'm not laughing. Of course they're armed. I don't know if you're brave or just foolish, but either way, you have some nerve showing your face here again. Oh, shit. I was just even thinking, like, well, it depends on how how well the previous visit went. <laughs> You've angered the god of the forest. I told everyone letting you into the village was a bad idea. Hold on. What? They don't seem too happy to be. What the hell did you do? I might have a very faint idea. Like, I have no idea. Somehow, I doubt these guys are too likely to accept the amnesia excuse. This isn't even worth wasting the chief's time. We can handle this ourselves. On my honor as a warrior of the forest, I will make you pay. Wait a minute, at least hear us out. He doesn't remember coming here. He doesn't even remember anything about himself. We came here to help him try to get his memories back. You honestly think we're going to believe that? What sorts of fools do you take us for? Eh, I think that just made things worse. <laughs> At all, I think we're gonna have to. Hold it. Ah, Karna, when did you get here? You've lost your memories. The adult I know would never make up an excuse like that to get out of trouble. Does that mean you've forgotten me too? Uh huh. Sorry. <laughs> huh. You don't remember when we first met then either? I was out hunting and attacked you, thinking you were a wild beast, but instead of getting angry, you apologized. It was my fault, but you said you were sorry for getting in the way. Karna, are, are you actually thinking of trusting him? I don't know yet, but either way, we should hear these two out. We owe them that much, at least. You're going to let him in the village at a time like this? I know you're all on edge right now, and I completely understand. My family's been hit too, after all. No, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Hey. I'd love to know what this is all going. If anybody could clue me in, that'd be really fucking great. It's a difficult time for everyone here, but that's all the more reason we need to stay calm and rational. Get with it. Yes, get <laughs> <laughs> Just like this creature that watches over everyone in Komodo. Otherwise, we'll end up making decisions we regret later. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. It's just as you say, Karna. <laughs> so far, that's been the most pop popular sound, uh, sound alert. <laughs> of course, it doesn't help I keep getting sidetracked. Look over there, Adol. You can see the whole forest from here. Every little thing we explored is in that sea of trees. Yes, yes that's a lovely view. But keep walking. Your presence here is making the villagers very nervous, you know. <laughs> Whoa, you have to tie us up? It's bullshit. Sorry, but for the sake of everyone else in the village, I'm going to have to make sure you two stay here for a while. You feel like telling us what's going on? Because I have no idea what I just wandered into. I'll tell you everything later. For now, just try to work it out for yourselves as best you can, okay? Uh, how would we do that exactly? Oh boy. Might want to tone down the snarky attitude, man. I'll be back later. Sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to stay put for a while. There she goes. She seems like a pretty level-headed girl, at least. Suppose you have to be to survive in a place like this. Still, looks like we've wandered into something real bad this time. 
You sure you didn't do anything horrible to these people? I mean, I know me, I wouldn't, but... I don't know. Well, I suppose you wouldn't. I don't want to start suspecting you either, but this seems like just sort of, sort of place you'd stick your nose into if nothing else. Oh well, at least we're safe from the beasts and monsters here. I suppose this is as good a chance as any to get some rest. Does that mean we're getting our HP and all that restored? Probably. Uh, starting up pretty bored. <laughs> How long are you going to keep us waiting? Oh, looks like somebody's here. Excuse me. Guessing this is going to be the chief. Yeah, that's a chief looking motherfucker. Although now I'm seeing a resemblance to the other girl. Well, let me introduce you. This is my father. I'm Assad, the village chief. I have met you once before, at all. Though as Karn has told me... <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, though as Karn has told me, you've lost your memories. I suppose you don't remember me. I'm afraid I don't. <laughs> mm, I see. I was hoping you would be able to tell me everything you know, but it seems that won't be possible. So what is going on here? Nobody seems to want to tell us. Recently, several of the villagers have been spirited away. Uh, spirited away? What do you mean by that? One day, one of our own simply disappeared without a trace. Then another. And another. And none of them have come back since. Oh god, please tell me they didn't start when I started to show up. When did this start happening? <laughs> they got Mizuki. <laughs> yeah, they got mizaki <laughs> The first villager disappeared immediately after you left. We searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but couldn't find any sign of him. Whoa, that's no a way. bad timing. I suppose that explains why everybody's holding him responsible, though. To my knowledge, you truly are the first person to come from outside the forest. How could I not think you the culprit when something so out of the ordinary happened the moment you left? A number of villagers are convinced that you angered the god of the forest. Well, when you put it like that, I guess I could see where you're coming from. The people are taking turns patrolling our village now, day in, day out. Unsurprisingly, many of them are getting rather, uh, irritable. I'll find the real culprit myself. I thought you might say that, but as the village chief, I would prefer to keep you here for a while longer. How much longer are we talking? Search the forest will be completed by dawn. You guys can search the entire forest in, like, two days? Well, if you don't find anything, what happens then? That I don't know. I will decide when the time comes. I'll return tomorrow. Karna, we're leaving. Okay. At all. I don't suppose you... I don't suppose you remember Remnos, do you? Rem Remnos? I expected as much. <sighs> so if they don't find anything, it looks like everyone's just going to assume it was you after all. Yeah, uh, that sucks. Only way for the village to move past this is to make someone take the fall for it. Which is ridiculous. Love him with you here. You have any idea who that Remnos guy he mentioned might be? Oh, well, that would make a lot of sense. Actually, I might have an idea. The man you saw in your dream back at the camp? Do you think he could have come from this village? Maybe you could paint a clearer picture if we could just find something else to trigger your memory. Let's gather information. Yeah, sitting around here isn't getting us anywhere. One sec. There we go. <laughs> really, dude? You could have done that earlier? <laughs> that should do it. I hate taking big risks, but an information dealer like me tends to pick up a few tricks every now and then for times like this. All right. Oh, we just got another uh, achievement. Discovered a settlement in the Great Forest. Cool. Badass. All right. Well, let's save because I probably am going to have to sneak out of here. All right, looks like the villagers are patrolling outside. Can't really go around asking people for information, considering the situation. Well, let's see if we can find anything that might help you get some of your memories back. Guess I'm not supposed to talk to this guy. What are you two doing here? Ah, yeah, fuck. Uh-oh, we've been spotted. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you to stay put before you listen? How did you get out, anyway? How did you manage to untie yourselves? No wild beast ever managed to break out of that. Proud of my skills, too. You have to show me how you did it sometime. <sighs> Just stay put here for now. Got it? Good. 
All right, so I'm guessing every time we fuck up, we're just going to get put here. So what are we going to do? We'll be more careful this time. <laughs> we'll think about what we did. <laughs> you know that all. I figured you'd say something like that. Sure as heck, no point staying and putting you here any longer. Just don't make the same mistake as last time. Did I go too fast? I may have gone too fast. That may have been my problem. Let's see. Was that my problem? That was probably my problem. Oh, okay. Anytime we try to go in there. Okay, so we just can't go in there. Why don't you stay put? I know you're explorers and all, but this is getting ridiculous. Well, listen to what you have to say later. Until then, just stay here and stop making things difficult for me. Okay? <laughs> I'm assuming there's a limit to how many times we can do that, but... Okay, now I know you can't go in that room. Fair enough. Okay, so Bag. But they don't make it very clear that you can't go in there. Don't mind me. Supposed to go this way. Oh, here we go. We got a memory. Let's trigger this memory. Where is it? It's got to be up here somewhere. Here? Probably here. Carved wooden idol is displayed inside the shrine. Maybe it's over here? There we go. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sus. <laughs> that is a great emoticon. I, that's what I need to do for my channel. I see. Still, I'm amazed that you came here from outside the forest. Finally, like a really concrete Im Oh, that dude is... Uh, oh, okay. Now I'm starting to see why they're all so extra concerned about that dude. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's knives with just your sword. She never misses. Hey, Ghosty, why thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm Remnos. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry about the rude greeting you got from my sister earlier. Attacking anything that moves is what beasts do, not people. I'm okay. I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have attacked without checking like that. <laughs> the forest is the beast's territory, where only the strongest can survive. You are unlikely to last there for long without honing your senses as Karna has. I suppose there is little reason for concern, seeing as you traversed it with only that blade for defense. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with the sword is really something. You'll have to fight me one-on-one -on -one sometime. My, my. Karna, you're gonna scare him off. What? Oh, I bet he'd love to spar with me. <laughs> At all, was it? These are my twins. Karna is one of the strongest hunters here, surpassing most of my men in ability. But then, you've discovered that firsthand. Remnos, on the other hand, excels more in the arts. His strength lies in handicrafts and music. I don't think you'll find two better guides to show you around the village. Thank you for your kindness. It's nothing, I assure you. Please, relax. This is our home, and we pride ourselves in our hospitality. I leave him in your care, my children. As you wish, Father. Let's get started then, shall we? Oh, and we're going to do this now. Okay. Not sure if she's complimenting or insulting at all, right? <laughs> Por que no los dos? <laughs> Just because you have the chief's permission to enter the village doesn't mean you can do whatever you'd like around here. Don't go getting carried away now. Oh, okay. And now I'm in the village. But I can... Oh, you know what? Let's talk to these things. Yeah! They're so cute. Fucking Pickards. Pickard's rule. <laughs> ah, it's really strange having a visitor here. How about trying one of the finest fruits the forest has to offer? Yeah, I'd love one. Put that hand down. No one said you could have one. Eh, it's okay. I don't mind if Remnos has one too. He's much cuter than the other men around here after all. See, it's fine. <sighs> 
why are all the girls around here so into him? But still, I'm your older sister, so if I say you can't have one, you can't have one. You're my... She's her... Tw she's his twin. She's older than him by, like, what, five, ten minutes? Right? Always a salty guard in these games. <laughs> yep. We're going now, Remnos. What? But Adol hasn't even has his yet. <laughs> All right, so now we can go in here. Hi, Solio. Hey there, you two. Showing the visitor around town? Something like that, yeah. This is the town's only shop. You can buy almost anything you'd want here, from hunting gear to daily necessities. Eh, although I'm afraid I don't stock musical instruments or crafts. Cooking ingredients, weapons, materials. If I've got what you need, I'm happy to sell it to you. Good to know, actually. Yep, we could just talk. I thought there was an inspect, but nope, just talk. Alright, so let's go uh, investigate this place. Oh, well, yep, yeah, we've been here before. <laughs> let's talk to the deer. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, unlike Earthbound, we can't talk to the animals. Alright, so little does that all know, he's going to be a prisoner there. Before too long. Um, let's try to leave. Because we know it'll happen when we go up. The memory's going to end. Ah, are you leaving the village already? You've come all this way. Please, at least let us finish you showing you around. It'll be worth your while, I'm certain of it. Yeah, I'm certain of it too. Let's go. Okay, so we've gone that way. Let's talk to you. Oh, it's Karnan Remnos, and who are you? Hmm, so this is the foreigner. What's a foreigner? <laughs> You're as cold as us! <laughs> but different foreigner. That would have landed better if I could have done it without laughing first. Well, it means he came from really far away. His name is Adol. Oh, really? Nice to meet you, Addy. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Sounds like you had quite a difficult morning, Karna. Now, I'm guessing that if we're nice to the villagers in the memories, that life is going to be easier for us when we come to here once we return to the present. That's my guess. But who knows, right? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe none of these responses even matter. Sounds like you had quite a difficult morning, Karna. I just don't see why you should have to go out hunting. You're a young lady. Well, I do it because I enjoy it. So why not? And here I, uh, and I'm the village chief's daughter, after all. Here to have to take after him somehow, you know? Though I've still got quite a lot to learn before I'll ever, bleh, I'll ever be as good as Hunter as he is. <laughs> Karna's gonna be the chief someday. <laughs> if only everyone in the village is okay with that, of course. I can't imagine a single person would object. It's so wonderful to have an older sister like you, my dear Karna. <sighs> Meanwhile, the village chief's son has no pride as a warrior at all. <laughs> well, Remnos is an artist. That's right. See? She gets it. Really aren't much alike, are they? I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Though I suppose there's no reason it wouldn't... Uh, I guess there's no reason why it would be a bad thing, would it? You're a foreigner? How far is Bay is really far away? As far as that Pickard hut? Yeah, a little farther than that, buddy. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> and so this is the visitor everybody's talking about, huh? Yep, is that his name's Adol? Isn't his red hair amazing? It's wonderful. Like a... I know it's not that funny, but if I say that... If I say that on stream... <laughs> like a rooster's beard. <laughs> I don't believe that's a very complimentary simile. <laughs> this is Pippi, the village shaman. She handles all the ceremonial duties in Komodo. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure all my little children would appreciate it if you said hello to them, too. <laughs> oh, well, fine. We'll fail into this one. Sure. Just in case... Just in case there's an effect of that. Uh, nothing here to hide. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I had to look anyway. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, sorry. Greetings, Karna, Remnos, and... Uh, wow, it's like its head's on fire. Don't be rude, Thoth. So you're the outsider everybody's talking about, are you? Welcome to our home. Huh, who said anything about welcoming him? Tch, what? I have no idea how you managed to win over Assad, but I, for one, have no intention of welcoming an outsider into my home. Please leave. Immediately. But dear, well, what's wrong? Well, this is Sadok's home. Let's do as he says. 
Yeah, I guess it's best not to tempt fate too much. Sorry for bothering you, Sadak. Well, we'll respect his wishes and head out. We've talked to them already. What's going on up here? You're so insensitive. First you buy me earrings, then you buy me more earrings. Do you think I have four ears or something? <laughs> oh my god. Poor Remyo. He, he, damned if you do, damned if you don't. What's wrong with having a spare pair? You can never have too many earrings. Don't be so picky about presents other people have bought for you. This looks like another another shop, even though the other one was the only shop in town. Hey, Master, mind if I show Adol around here a bit? I don't mind. I never thought I'd see the day someone would come here from outside the forest. You don't get visitors much more unique than this one. This is my master, Sison. He's an artisan. He looks a bit rough around the edges, but I assure you, he really does do beautiful work. Remnos, that's no way to talk about your master. Don't worry about it, Karna. I'm used to his sass mouth. <laughs> so, so Remnos is a little sassy pants here. Honestly, you spoil him, Sasson. Although, it's interesting that Remnos is the sassy one when Sasson is not. But he's right about one thing. You do uh, you do some beautiful work with uh, Remnos, too. Even he... Bleh, there we go. Uh, even if he can't be respectful to his master. I could never make anything half as nice as what you two can do. <laughs> Remnos needs a backhanding, right? Well, everyone has things they're good at and things they aren't. Like me and hunting, for the latter. Remember, just because you're not great at something doesn't mean you have to give it up completely. Exactly. Listen to your master, Remnos. You used to come hunt with us, and then one day you just stopped showing up. I'm sure you'd be able to keep up with everyone if you trained. Well, I just don't feel like putting all my effort into something with which I'm unsuited. Moving on, Adol, take a look at this necklace. I'm quite proud of this one. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> eh. It's very well made. Isn't it just? I knew you'd appreciate it. We're going to be best friends. I'm sure of it. No, we already are. Ugh, look at him getting carried away. <laughs> you sure seem to be having fun. Now that you're always welcome to come back and look around as much as you'd like, make yourself at home here. I don't think there's actually anything to talk. Now that you're, uh, no, that you're always welcome to come back and look around as much as you'd like. Make yourself at home. Well, we'll definitely take you up on that, buddy. I'm guessing that's the chief's hut. Yeah, it's going to be the chief's hut. Nope, it's not the chief's hut. Doesn't look like, aren't you... The red-haired outsider? Looks like you know your way around a sword, if nothing else. But you don't seem particularly tough. Hm, you sure about that? I wouldn't bet on you being able to win a fight against Adol here. What? Oh. Well, if Karma says so, it's gotta be true. Wait a minute. We haven't fought. She's probably just trying to ingratiate herself with the outsider. Now, now, calm down. Calm down? Huh. Sure must be easy sitting around here all day, never bothering to hunt. Listen here, Rumnos. I've wanted to ask this for a long time, but why don't you ever come out with us? Whoa, Demless. Hold on. Sorry, Ramon, but I have enough beating around the bush. I want an answer. Why don't you ever come out and hunt with us? You're a man of Komodo. You're supposed to be a warrior. Well, for better or worse, I'm an artist and historian, not a hunter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Keela looking to get a swift kick to the sick. <laughs> I'm not going to deny your way of life. I completely respect it. It's just not for me. That's all there is to it, really. Ugh, I don't get you at all. Really? How do we go from talking about Adol to talking about me? Yeah, we've got... I've got plenty I want to say to Remnos on this subject, too. But can we at least not discuss it in front of Adol? You're right. I'm sorry. Forget it. I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Sorry you had to see that at all. Anyway, let's go tour somewhere else, shall we? Let's go talk to her. Welcome, this is the Village Community Center, where everyone comes to make friends and be social. Feel free to join us anytime you'd like. Alright, so, ah, the bar. Makes sense. Now we're going to accept a man into Komodo who doesn't hunt. Forget it, I'm not interested in talking to you anymore. Just know this. Until we've actually fought, you haven't beaten me. Yeah, okay, you keep thinking that, buddy. I don't care if you want to walk around town, but don't try anything funny. Okay, so these people were suspicious of me from the word go here. Alright, well, we've gone in there. We did go in here, right? Yep, we went in there. There's the artisan shop. Let's go this way. Yeah, let's talk to you, Idea. 
Karna, Remno sent a visitor from outside the village. Certainly not a group to see every day. That's very true. Even just the two of us together is a bit of a rarity, given how different our daily activities are. As you can see, we're showing young, ad young Adol here around the village. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> He'd rather not talk about it at all. <laughs> well, make sure you show him all the wonders of Komodo. Give him some good stories to tell his people, right? I should talk to him some more. Now let's see what's going on here. Ah, all right, so this is the village. This is the elder's hut. Have you finished your tour? You may not get another chance like this. I'd suggest taking your time and enjoying what our village has to offer. Okay, well then let's finish the village and then we'll come back and talk to you. Shut up, today we're playing hunters. No, shut up. You shut up. Today we're playing house. Oh boy. Oh no, they started fighting again. I see these two are as much a handful as ever. Yeah, they're always so stubborn. Don't have to worry about a foreigner disrupting the local economy if half of everyone was an asshole to him. That's not true. Modern problems require modern solutions. Oh man. Oh, might you be... That's right. He's the visitor from outside that everyone's been talking about. I thought so. Him. <laughs> well, welcome to Komodo, traveler. Please make yourself at home here. Definitely going to take a pause in a second to go grab... Uh, let's take a look at this idol. Carved wooden idol is displayed inside the shrine. <laughs> Do you like this statue? It's a symbol of the forest god who watches over us. It's a custom around here to hold your hands together and pray to it. Ah, and so now if we go up here and we pray to it, someone will see and hopefully... I'm thinking? Anyway. So you're the fabled outsider. Lindsay, that's not a very nice thing to call him. But what should we call him? Either way, I'm surprised he didn't get eaten by beasts on his way through the forest. Built like that. <laughs> Everyone thinks that when they first see him. Don't let it get you down at all. We don't get many visitors around here, so nice knees may be in short supply. <laughs> glare. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, you must have a hell of a glare if you got uh, him to say sorry, or her to say sorry, real quick. Oh, uh, don't get the wrong idea. You might not look very muscular, but you do look quite handsome. <laughs> there we go. Yep, Lindsay. Oh, yeah, it was Marcel, not Marcella. Or Marcella, not Marcel. Yeah, I look up to strong burly men, but I love it if men around here were a little more sensitive and smooth. <laughs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> All right. So these two are thirsty and looking at Adol like he's a goddamn snack. <laughs> Much like Remnos. In fact, he's the model which all smooth men should go by. <laughs> he knows how music and crafts can make a lady's heart go all aflutter. I'm honored to hear such words from such lovely women as yourselves. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just don't see it. Um, well, I mean, you're his sister. We're glad you don't see it. <laughs> so you're saying you want the two of them to be more like father? <laughs> well, that wouldn't be too bad, actually. <laughs> ah, Karno, you never fail to make me smile. What do you mean? Ah, there we go. Now I've talked to everybody. Thus, the tour of Komodo Village came to an end. It flew by quickly and was so fascinating that Adol forgot his exhaustion from exploring the Great Forest. Ah, much like Lair. Which ended up getting changed to Rhea in the remake. I don't know why they changed her name. I've heard this melody was composed in the image of a thriving kingdom that was supposedly located in the forest long ago. Kingdom? <laughs> I knew that might perk your ears a bit. They say about 800 years ago, that very kingdom, remembered now only through song, flourished here. The ruins scattered all over the forest are apparently connected to it, but we know so little else. What kind of kingdom was it? How did it fall? I've been trying to find the answers to these questions by inspecting the ruins and researching numerous old legends. A worthy goal. I'm happy to hear you say that, Adol. Only wish Father would understand this little passion of mine. Hey! How long are you two planning on sitting around out here? Dinner's almost ready. Father says you're welcome to join us if you'd like, Adol. Finally, I'm famished. Let's go get something to eat, my friend. That is a really dapper uh, harp, though. <sighs> you could stay a bit longer, you know. Why the rush to leave? 
It's amazing how even a freaking um, yawn in a video game can make you yawn. It's weird how that's contagious. Father and Karna wanted to come and see you off as well, but they're always out hunting this time of day. Well, I'm not going to ask why you're not going with them. We know that already. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, I'll pass along your regards when they get back. I'm kind of jealous how free-spirited you are, to be honest. Oh. Who's that? Another visitor, perhaps? Not anyone you know? No, I don't think so. Of course, it could have been someone from the village, but there's no way for me to be certain. Whoever it was was wearing a very unusual mask. So one of the versions of East. So there are two original East Force. There was one by Hudson Soft called Dawn of East. That's the less canon version. And then there was East Four Mask of the Sun, which was for the Super Nintendo. And I forget what company made that one. And that was generally a more canon version. Uh, Memories of Celsetta has more in common with Mask of the Sun. So when they're saying mask here, I'm, I can't help but wondering if, if that has something to do with it. What kind of mask? I couldn't see it very well myself. His or her, perhaps her movements were extremely quick, but it was... Oh, never mind. I'm sure it was nothing. It might have been part of a ritual. I'll ask Father when he gets back. You know, Adol, as sad as I am to see you go, I hope very much that you'll drop by Komodo again and regale us with more tales of your many adventures. Yay! Strength improves again. Adol. Hey, Adol. You okay? Did you remember something? Remembered a lot, actually. That was a really solid memory. There you are, Adol. Honestly, I've been looking all over the place for you. Uh-oh, she's found us. Come on now, how many times do I have to drag you back before you give up? It's not easy being the one sheltering you. Everyone else would just as soon see you skinned alive. I wonder if that how that dialogue changes if you never get caught. <laughs> a masked? We do have a custom of hanging masks in our homes to repel evil, but I can't imagine. Yeah, if it were that type of mask, it would have struck out like a sore thumb around here. So most likely, that wasn't it. Not based on what Adol's been telling us. I guess the easiest thing to do is to ask Remnos directly. Is he here? Something wrong? <laughs> yeah, Remnos is the one missing, guys. <laughs> you guys haven't figured that out yet? Remnos is not available to speak with you. He isn't? Did he go out somewhere? Not exactly, no. He's one of the disappearances. We have no idea where he is right now. There's been no word from him since the day he saw Adol no off. No way. So he was spirited away too then. <laughs> I appreciate you telling me all of this, Adol. But I'm afraid I don't know how much of your story I can believe. Well, that's a sign of fighting. Lovely. Let's do it. Father, outside! Adol, Durin, stay here. Like hell are staying here. We're going to help you guys. There's no way we're fucking staying here. What's going on out there? Let's go find out. <laughs> I love how it even gives staying here as an option. Well, standing here, sir, isn't going to help. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. We know you knew damn well we weren't going to sit around. Well, now we have a better idea of what the village is like. Whoa, what's going on over there? Ah, the same masked people. What do you think you're doing? Oh, and it looks like they're possessed. Father! He's a match for father? That can't be! Stay back, Karna. Their strength is highly abnormal. What's with the masks? You think they could have something to do with that masked man you and Remnos saw? Seems like it. Yeah, too much of a coincidence to ignore. Still, I'd love to know what the hell is going on around here. Why would the people of Komodo be attacking their own village? Uh, looks like there's more of them. Are, are you the ones who've gone missing? Why? Hmm, so you can't answer then. Regardless, now that you have attacked our home, I cannot allow you to get away. Impossible. It couldn't be. Well, that certainly looks like Remnos from the hair now, doesn't it? Father! 
Leave it to me. <laughs> We've come to help. Adolf, Durin. Stay back. I have no need of your assistance. You sure you're okay? Because you don't look like you've got that, bud. <laughs> Stay back, I said. That's why I asked you. Uh, father! Oh. Time to follow them. Damn it, they got away. After the mask assailants fled, Tarna, uh, Karna tended to the wooden villagers. Adol and... <laughs> Adol and Durin patrolled the surrounding area throughout the night. That's perfect timing. <laughs> but the assailants did not return to attack again. Asad's wounds were deep, but after a long night of treatment, his life was no longer in danger. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh no! <laughs> so that means the villagers who were spirited away are the ones wearing the masks. Probably. Probably, you're not sure? Well, we didn't exactly see their faces, you know? Father is without a doubt the strongest warrior in the village, but that masked man was able to take him down easily. That shouldn't even be possible. So absolutely none of the villagers who disappeared are strong enough to hurt him? And even if they were, what the hell would they be after? I don't know the answer to that either. Why would they attack their home? It makes no sense. Uh... Father! There we go. Up and am, Chief. Where... Where am I? Don't worry, you're home. I see. The, the way he said, where am I, was like, oh god, did he lose... Did he have amnesia? <laughs> Father, I am... Karna, don't go after that masked man. Why not? Until my wounds have healed, tell everyone, don't. That man is... Father? Looks like he's out cold again. Yeah, so the chief already figured out he was Remnos. He's going to need to rest for a while longer to get his strength back. What was he trying to say? Uh, that it was your brother, dipshit. <laughs> Although, to be fair, they didn't see him up close like the chief did and like we did. So he didn't see the hair. Don't know, but it seems like he noticed something during the fight. That's for sure. Guess all we can do is wait for him to wake up again and ask. So, Adol, what are we going to do now? Let's go looking for them. No way. Them? You mean the masked villagers? Look for them where? We don't have any idea where they could have gone. The search party might know something. I'll just keep an eye on Father for a while longer, and then I'll be right behind you. Looks like that's settled then. All right, let's get started. Yeah, I'm guessing she's going to be our third companion. I'll just keep an eye on Father for a while longer, then be right behind you. Until then, feel free to ask all around if you like. So down we go. Right, now we can... Oh, look at that. We can talk to this dude again. <laughs> Children is so carefree. I'm still feeling a little uneasy after everything that happened, but watching these two really helps ease the mind. Where's the front of playing house? I'm so bored. <laughs> oh, we can talk to you again. I can't believe those masked people managed to injure Assad. They must be ridiculously strong. People are saying that they're the villagers who were spared away. It's even harder to believe. Let's go up to this thing. Can I pray at this now? Carbon vial is displayed inside the shrine. There's, there's got to be something up with that eventually. I can't believe the missing villagers would even think of attacking us. Was Lindsay with them? Any of us turning against Komodo, uh, Komodo or Komodo? I'm not sure. Either. Is disturbing at best, but it's especially hard to imagine with her. Let's head down. Maybe we can actually shop at go to this shop let's go to the artisan here oh we can craft accessories now cool there are powerful accessories everywhere sweet i'm guessing we just need uh hopefully these people are done being jerks at this point right hopefully let's talk it said it said that the masks represent another self they hide the true form of the wearer or allow him to change to the appearance he desires were the ones who attacked the village yesterday really our missing brethren and if they were were they acting of their own free will i'm thinking not I would venture a guess that they were not. Let's craft an accessory. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we could sell. Uh... Currently equipped. Let's see, what do we got here? We could sell... Wow, we could sell those for 3,000 gold? 
Uh, I think I should sell these, right? Or You would think that these would be something you would just sell. You would think. Can I not sell more than one of those? Oh, I only have one of them. Oh, yeah, I only had one. Yeah, I like money. Okay. Let's craft. Ooh, we can do a life ring. That might be good. Uh, power ring. Yeah, we've got enough for that. Let's see what we got. Wanderer's cloak. Power depends on distance traveled. So these are pretty cool. Uh, these are actually common in the later games. So you get a cloak and the more you, of the map you explore, the better the item gets, which is pretty neat. Although we don't have a spider web to make that one. That's kind of annoying. Um, damn. I wonder if we can make spider web somehow. Yeah, we can't make any of these. I need a spider web for that. Oh, okay. We can make... Well, well. Warrior Seal skill XP gain. That's pretty neat, but I don't really need that. Yeah, there's really nothing here that's like fantastic. Let's just see. I've got 300 hit. Well, I've got 300 hit points, so an extra 100 would be 450. That's a. That's nothing to sneeze at. I've got a shield ring, and I've got the snake amulet. I'd rather have to prevent poison, but. Alright. You got a deal. Let's do the life ring. Let's equip that shit. I'll keep the uh, poison resist. Although in later games, what you can do is if you uh, get poisoned, you can equip the snake amulet that prevents poison and it acts as like a permanent cure. I don't know if that particular exploit will work in this game. I suppose I could try it. But for now... Not like defense of five is really that much of a difference. I'd rather have the hundred hit points. And everything around here seems to be poisoning us. Oh, well, I'd rather have the hundred hit points. Remio. Oh, Remio, wherefore art thou, Remio? So that doesn't really work. Whoever did this translation doesn't actually know where wherefore means. So, so part of Sarah's background, I have an academic background. Hooey, Seraph Stream! Hey, Maxi, how are you? So, the Romeo and Juliet line where, uh, <laughs> where Juliet is going, Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore out thou art thou Romeo? She's not asking where he is. She's asking, Oh, why, oh, why, Romeo? Are you, um, uh, are you a Montague? Because she's a Capulet, and the Capulets and the Montagues are like the Hatfields and the McCoys. And so, uh, so it's really asking, why is Romeo a member of the family he is? So this doesn't make any sense. This is just Saria, Romeo, Romeo, you know, unless she's going, why, why are you missing? That's the only thing I can think of. Now, maybe, you know, let's give it the benefit, let's give it the benefit of the doubt and say that Saria is asking, why are you missing? But were you really one of the people who attacked the village yesterday, Romeo? If I'd known something like that was going to happen, I would have been more honest with you. Aww. <laughs> so, uh, excellent. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're playing East 4. This is my first playthrough of this game. Oh, here's the bar. I don't really... You know, we're talking to this fucking guy again. Hell yeah, we are. You're... Were you guys with the search party yesterday? Yes, but what business is it of yours? Well, you know about the village being attacked yesterday, right? We're trying to hunt down the ones responsible. And what will you do when you find them? You might not be imprisoned anymore, but if you think we trust you now, you're sadly mistaken. But yeah, I'm doing good. Just kind of playing East 4, relaxing, taking a break from studying. <laughs> Hopefully we could get uh, fairly deep into this game. I'm liking it so far. I'm, uh, I'm glad I'm playing this finally. Uh, this came out... I'm forgetting when Memories of Silsetta actually came out. Because the original, original East 4 was... Um, <laughs> you, you could very well be the puppet masters behind yesterday's incident after all <laughs> this might be tougher than I thought um, continue trying to persuade him doesn't matter how many times you ask I'm not going to tell you a thing I'd suggest you leave while you still that's enough dumbless 
It sounded, it sounded like dumbass, right? <laughs> You'd probably like, this way madness lies, as it has a built-in translator of the Shakespearean lines and uh, way of speech. No shit. Yeah, I would like that. I hear they patrolled the village for the whole of the night. And if they were allies of the masked ones who attacked us, why would they be coming to talk to us for information? Well, that is true, but fine. I suppose it can't hurt to tell them what I know. So you know something then. Maybe. I haven't got proof it's related to what happened, but it could be. It was pitch black, so I couldn't see too well, but there was someone running through the forest at an unnaturally high speed, and it certainly didn't look like any beast. It was heading to the southwest of the village, to a place we called Ancient Burrow. Well, that sounds like a place we need to go now. The Ancient Burrow? You know about the big crater near here, right? Um, no. We literally don't know anything. Hell, a week ago, I don't didn't know my own name, bro. <laughs> If you climb down there, there's a cave full of violent insects. We call it the Ancient Burrow. I see. Seems like we got some pretty valuable intel. Come on, Adol. Let's go tell Karna what we've learned. Woohoo! Oh! Swordsman extraordinaire. Played extensively as Adol. Ah, okay. Seems their hideout's been uncovered. Hey, Karna. How's your dad doing? He's through the worst of it. He'll be okay if he rests a while longer. But enough of that. I have something I'd like to discuss with you two. What is it? You look awfully serious. <laughs> I've decided to go and hunt for the masked men myself. But you didn't your dad say literally not to do that? Staying here at a time like this just doesn't suit me. My father's the strongest warrior here, yet he still lost the fight. And if he can't win against them, what chance do the rest of us have? If they attack again, we're finished. Okay, I can't fault her logic there. At least if we could find their hideout, we'll be better equipped to deal with them. I'm no good at sitting around and weighing my options. I much prefer standing tall and taking action. I'd rather do something wrong. I'd regret it later. At least then, I'll have done something. You're, uh, how do I put this? You're one tough little lady. <laughs> Thanks. Naturally, you'll both be helping me, right? Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. First of all, I had nothing to do with any of this. Nothing. Yet, I've been treated like a criminal, locked up, forced to patrol all night, eaten alive by mosquitoes. We'll see this through to the end. This all started with you, Adol, so you're the last person I want to hear that from. <laughs> fine. Fine. I'll help, okay? Many thanks to both of you. All right. Now, that, that, that's, uh, uh, now if that's settled, there's not a moment to waste. We have no idea when they'll attack next. So we'd better head out as quickly as possible. Let's get all the provisions we need, then hit the road. Hopefully, there we go, Karna joined the party. There we go, party, oh, we got party abilities here. Are active when there are three more party members. There are two different party abilities. Rare item drop rate up, okay. Activates when the par active party contains one of each attack type. Enemies may drop more rare items. Okay, and it looks like we will have that, although I don't know who that other person is. Increased damage, activates when the active party contains two of the same attack type. Party members that deal extra damage. Ah, okay, so when we've got a very nice varied party, we're, uh, we're going to get more rare items, but when we double up on it, we'll deal more damage. Interesting. I think I'd rather have the rare items, personally, but we'll see. Okay, there's the artisan shop. We did that already. Okay, that's the chief's hut. Let's go to the shop. So the missing villagers actually attacked us, and they were wearing masks? I don't understand the situation at all. It's something out of a nightmare. Okay, I don't think either of these is the shop. I'll talk to you anyway. People think my husband might have been one of the men who attacked the village. How could something like this happen? There we go. That's a shop. Exchange materials. Alright, so we can exchange materials. Yeah, we can't. Oh, let's go to Beast Materials. Spiderweb. Ooh, we can do that. Yep, let's do that. Perfect. Okay. Because there was a cool... There was a cool item in here. Craft accessory. Craft. Okay, what was that one that required... Oh, yeah, the Wanderer's Cloak. Let's do it. Okay, 
Let's equip. At all. Uh, yeah, let's go with it. Prevents paralysis. I don't have to worry about that with you. We'll do the shield ring. We'll stick with that for right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I'll keep the snake amulet to be as a, a cure-all for poison if I get poisoned again. What happened yesterday? It makes no sense. <laughs> All right. So now we've got... Now we've got a party. Hell yeah. Cool. Oh my god, Karna's way higher level than we are. That tells me I probably managed to do this sooner than I probably should have. Cool. That means we're ahead of the game. Oh, fuck. All right. So it's a wrong network. All right. So let's, let's just pause this really quick. I'm going to get myself a quick drink. I will be right back, everybody. Actually, let's just... Oh, won't let me do that? All right, fine. I'll be right back. I should have muted the mic while I was just humming while I was coming back. <laughs> there we go. Man, it's beautiful out. It is absolutely beautiful out. Sun's going to set in like 20 minutes or so, but for right now, oh my goodness. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. We went down this way. Oh, wow. Okay, we got two ways to go down there. So I guess the question is, do I want to head back up and go back to town and cash in the map that I've got? Or... Yeah, 32%. I'm actually kind of inclined to do that. So we've got another couple of map markers over there. Yeah, we've got a lot of we've got a lot we could explore here at the moment. But you know what? Let's just keep going. So we've gone that way. Uh, is that the way we came in? Yeah, I think this is the way we came in. And then that was. Wait. I actually don't remember the way we came in. Shit. But I think this is the way we came in. It's an easy way to find out. I don't think so. Because now I remember coming up here. Alright, cool. Easy way to find out. Let's just go up here. 
Ah, now we're on this side of the shore. Okay. Damn it, he got poisoned. Hey, asshole. Oh, they got poisoned. Even better. Oh, I got some yellow stones. Oh, we're poisoning the shit out of them. It's nice to be doing that for a change. Well, let's see what's on this shore now that we're here. Gotta keep this one busy. Alright. Let's just see what's over here. Lower the drawbridge. Yes. Oh my fucking god. Yes. <laughs> Alright, now we can just walk back. We don't have to deal with that fetid fucking labyrinth. Thank God. I just got a life ring that I crafted, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fucking fine. Alright, so cool. That's one way we can... Alright, so you know what? Maybe what we'll do here... Yeah, since we're this close... Let's do that. Let's head back. This isn't the way to the ancient burrow. I know. We've got to head for the point marked on the map. Oh, they're going to make me do that. They're not going to let me go back to uh, Kaznan. Cash in some shit. That's lame. That's fucking bullshit. Wait, how is... Okay, so at some point, I'm going to be able to go into that water. To get to that treasure chest. Right? Or, am I, or are they going to give me, like, a fishing rod or something that... Well, who knows. Let's go back then. Fuck. That sucks. That sucks that I have to do this. There we go. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to do that. Okay. Damn, I was hoping I could go back to Kazna and get some extra supplies. Talk to the cat. All right. Well, I guess we'll do this and then it will let me do that. It's just weird that the game's forcing me to do this. Not the end of the world, I suppose. Okay, so that 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 cheese doesn't actually work here. Fuck. Okay, so I'm going to need to keep that to prevent poison for me because everything here causes poison. That really sucks, man. All right, fine. You can have the Wanderer's Cloak for now, then. Oh, that sucks so much. It's a little annoying that they don't show you what has it and what doesn't. God, she's poisoned and paralyzed. <laughs> Oh no, Bilbo has woken the dragon. Oh. <laughs> so now we know what part of uh, the Hobbit Max is at. <laughs> Those were so good. Oh shit. Oh, that guy. Not putting up with that shit. Nope, we're not messing with those. Those are those can poison. Oh, come on, Karna. 
Oh my. Yeah, once I leave this area and I don't have to worry about poison as much, then I can uh, put the Wanderer's Cloak back on. Okay, now they're not nearly as much of a problem. Okay, I don't remember which of these I came in through. I think I came in through this one. Well, we didn't come into this one. So let's explore! There's more. <laughs> Here I thought I'd gotten all of it. Explore the rest of this while we're at it. Yeah, there we go. Yay, level 10. Okay, that thing's scary. Huh. Alright, so now if somebody does get paralyzed, we can uh, remove it. Let's see, we came in through that way. Okay. Give me the rest of it. And as usual, the soundtrack is good. <laughs> Alright, so we want to go back down there. to do that. Ow! Come here, asshole. Okay, I'm outside, technically. Do I regain hit points? I bet you I don't. Ooh, I do. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> Let's regenerate all that health. Get it. Our adventure's only just beginning. Uh. Alright, I'm getting used to using the, uh, the, uh, stick for this. As opposed to the D-pad. Hey, Sarah, if I got an idea, I might actually go to where the treasure chest is. I just wandering around like a complete fool. Right, let's go this way first. Let's get the rest of that. Okay. Got that. Right. There is nothing of value over here. Right. Well, since we're here. Which way? Came in through there. There's nothing else there. Okay, perfect. All right, what fresh hell have I wandered into this time? Mm, we're working our way up to something. Ugh. That was actually pretty nice. That thing's gonna be a problem. Look how high we up we are now. 
Oof. And of course, we have no control over the camera, so I can't really pan around. All nine circles simultaneously. <laughs> That's interesting. Look at that cave all the way over there. Do we know about that cave? Or is that something I'll be seeing later? Huh. Well, we're heading towards a memory. No, we're gonna need that. Oh, I bet you it's that cave. Or no, it can't be, because that's the forest labyrinth. That's not an actual cave. Unless it's this thing, but that seems like it would be too far away for this uh, the waterfall cave. That can't be the waterfall cave. That's got to be something around, because we're here. It's got to be something around there. Yeah, that's got to be something we haven't discovered yet. Cool. Damn it. Oh my god. Okay, so that was, uh, bad. <laughs> Thankfully, just taking a breather replenishes our health as long as we're not quote-unquote in a dungeon. Alright, so we got Adol, who's a slash. Duran, uh, Duran, who's got strike, and uh, Karno, who's uh, piercing. I think she's probably got like a spear. So oh, come on. That is fucking cheap as shit. You were off screen, dude. I didn't even know that fucker was there. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> See, if I had that sound alert, that would be the time for fucking bullshit. <laughs> Man, I was thirsty. I went right through that. So you're really going to leave us at all? I'm sorry, I made up my mind. Well then, hurry up and get going. No one likes teary goodbyes. <laughs> that explains so much. Huh. You don't want to end up crying on the road like you did when you were a kid, do you? And Adol is famous for that, trying to leave before really saying goodbye to everybody. He's always doing that. So this is where he gets that from. So where will you be going first? I think I'll start by heading south. I want to brush up on my sword skills before venturing too far. I knew this day would come eventually, but well... Let me just say one thing. I want you to swear you'll come back here one day. It doesn't matter when, just one day. If you promise me that, and always remember, you've got a home to come back to. You'll find the strength to overcome any obstacle. And I don't care how much time passes, you'll always be welcome here. Bad. And when your journey's complete, and you come back here for good, I'm sure you'll see things a lot differently than you do now. So go and make lots of good memories, Adol. Now mind you, He's like, he's got to be all of like 14 because he's 16 when he fucking arrives um, to Minia Town in East Book One. So <laughs> I, I'm figuring he's got to be like 14 here, right? Thanks, Dad. Take care, everyone. Like what father lets their kid just wander the earth at 14 years old? Like 15 tops. Send us a letter every now and then. Because I don't think his first quote-unquote adventure is uh, is East Book 1, chronologically speaking. Now granted, chronologically, it is the first one with Adol so far, but I'm if I know Falcom, they'll end up doing an adventure before East Book 1 at some point. All right, I'm off. Yeah, there we go. Maximum HP increased by 10. I frequently forget the exact chronology. Oh, God damn it. This one came back. Gotcha that time, buddy. Oh, dodged it. But so did I. Oh, 
That was actually pretty cool. He dodges it, and then I dodge it right back. <laughs> Is there we didn't go? Ilya Ketchum let her only child go wander the planet with a mouse of mass destruction at the age of 10. <laughs> Touche. Touche. <laughs> so far, so good here. Let's check the map. Where the hell have I gone? All right, it looks like I've explored everything. I don't see anything blatantly missing on this map. Dodge that, asshole. Come on, buddy. Fine. There we go. I just want to make sure I dodged its big attack. So we got a way up. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? It's gotta be a treasure chest, right? Oh, just death. I was right. Oh, what? The fuck did I just pick up? Oh, cures all status ailments. Not too shabby. All right. Well, we will take that. That was worth coming down here for. Got something rare. Nice. Oh, silver ore. Sweet. Ah, and here's that cave we saw on the other side. Pretty neat. Well, let's at least see what it is. This might be that burrowed thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's the ancient burrow. Okay, so this is what we were actually looking for. We're here, at all. We call this place the ancient burrow. It does seem like the perfect place to use as a hideout. It's so quiet. Villagers would never notice him here. Let's go inside. Oh, no, that's a trap. You can see the floor. Oh, no, it's just roots. Karna, what's wrong? I think they know we're here already. Someone's coming. Yep. Hmm. Guess we just walked right into an ambush. Looks like this is no time for scouting out the area at all. Everyone, we've come to rescue you. Let's go back home. Back to Komodo. What's wrong? Why don't you say something? Yeah, something's not right here. Yeah, they don't even seem to know they're being spoken to. It's just like when they attacked Komodo. I don't think they're even acting on their own will. Could someone be controlling them? No. Why? Hold on. Hmm. Looks like we can't just talk our way out of this one. Oh shit, I didn't save when before coming in here either. That was stupid on my part. It seems not. We have to stand and fight. Cover me, please. Hopefully this won't be too bad. Oh, 
trying to do like hit run attacks here. Ow! Shit. Fuck, fuck. Yep. There we go. Okay, now that there aren't as many of them, they're easier to dodge. Alright. That wasn't too bad once we kind of had a handle on him. They were worth a lot of XP. Holy shit. No, oh, they're masks. There's no way normal people could be this strong. The masks definitely have something to do with it, but I have no idea how they work. Oh, Gellio. Is, is that you, Karna? Hey, look at you. Are you okay? So sorry, the mask it. Guess that really was it. He's inside. Help. Who? Who's inside? He's out cold. Let's go. But, Adol's right. There aren't any dangerous beasts or anything around, so they should be fine. Let's let them rest here and head inside. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, there's no reason to sit around and look after them. But what we will do... Save. Yes. Should have done that before. Let's inspect that. Looks like a dead end. Wait, look at that. What is it? Looks like some kind of beast's cocoon. It's only being supported by a single thread. I should be able to cut it down with one of my knives. Oh, I see. We cut it down and use it to walk across, right? Yeah, but I don't think I could hit it from here. The angle's all wrong. Let's try heading for higher ground. There we go. Ah, okay. Knife throwing. Karna could use her knives to cut down or cut through distant, narrow objects. All right. So that's probably going to have something to do with those other areas we couldn't get through. And that's why it wouldn't let us go and do that first. They want to make us do this because there's probably some other plot-based things beyond that. My turn. Let's go. All right. That makes more sense now. So hopefully now that we've done this, now it will let us backtrack to Kaznan. All right. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, oh this music. This is rare. This is a good one. I didn't dodge it well enough. So this is where this plays. I've had this track for years. Damn. Got me anyway. It's interesting. This is where this plays. So the track is originally called Temptation of the Master Harlequin. Skill XP gain. Eh. You know what? Yeah, let's do that for you. Because you could use the extra hit points. You would definitely use the extra hit points. Alright. Yeah, it's the only way to go. 
Oh, I don't like the looks of this fucking at all. Oh, oh no. Yep, you knew there was gonna be a fucking spider bullshit. Oh, fuck. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good here. That's interesting. Looks like we can go up that. Hmm. Interesting, but... Hmm. My turn. Can one of the other party members interact with it? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I don't think so. I'll have to come back there. Alright. Filthy liquid. Whatever the fuck that is. That shit, buddy. My turn. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> All right, we got a stars of sleep flagrant fragment. Let's go. Leave it to me. Fuck is a sleep fragment. Leather, okay. Alright, we got that. Sleep fragment, huh? Oh, okay, Frank. It's a key item, huh? Found in the ancient bro. Alright, well, fine, I guess. Old key found in the mines. So that's probably. Mm -hmm. no. I guess I'm not gonna worry about it. But I'm, uh, clearly, we needed that. It's a key item. these fucking things. So despite how scary they look, we really fuck up those spiders. Alright, so what the hell do we have down there? We got another thing we can cut with that. But what the fuck is that? How far are we doing on our map? Man, we're gonna hit 40% by the time we're actually allowed to turn this damn thing in. I like money. Should have been able to dodge that. That was better. My turn. Let's go. Uh, can I not hit that from here? Leave it to me. Hey, guess not. My turn. Leave it to me. One down. Yeah. 
voila! Easy money. Keep this fucker busy. It's pretty awesome. Knock him in the air and she just continues to like hammer away with the daggers. Yeah, good parents right there. <laughs> oh man. Okay, but listen, anything else to do here? Yep. Okay. Oh boy. Now we're getting close to the bottom of whatever this is, uh, this ancient burrow thing here is. <laughs> I love what they uh, say when they find items and shit. Since that asshole can hit us at long range, they was the priority. <laughs> You guys whack away at that, thank you. Nice. Take a level up. I feel like I'm leveling up a lot. Which makes me wonder if I was supposed to, uh... Come here later, or if I was supposed to, uh... Grind a little bit before I got here. <laughs> I may have been supposed to. May have been I was supposed to grind a little bit. All right, so. My turn. Leave it to me. It's not giving me the option to hit that yet. Leave it to me. We'll have to come back to that later. <laughs> Nicked me there. Damn, got me again. Fucker. Mm. Fortunately, I have a few of these. Since I'm using one, let's just save now. Alright. Can't get to that one because we've got that annoying ass thing. So hopefully, if I go up here and hit it with a knife, I can make those go down. All right. Yep. That's My what we turn. need to do. Leave it to me. Ah. Okay. Interesting. I know I can hit that one, but let's just, for the sake of it, let's go down without hitting that one. See if we can get to this treasure chest. Yep, I think that's all that was necessary. For some reason I worry that hitting that third one may have uh, destroyed the treasure Please, chest or me. something. Now, I don't think they'd be that cheap. There we go. So we can go to the Oh, and now we can, okay, we could at least go to Komodo Village. So at least there's that. Hey, Rob, welcome back. You know, I almost wonder now that we've done that. Now will it let us go to Komodo Village 
and go back the way we came. Let's try that. Oh, you know what? Let's just... Let's just proceed. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a boss battle. This is for sure going to be a boss battle. Oh, God. It's going to be something with wasps. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I'm not going to let my phobia of wasps or honeycomb-like things bother me. Let's get going. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Karna. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Yeah, I hate it already. This is fucking terrible. Oh my god, that's fucking terrible. Oh my god, I hate this. Thanks, I hate it. See what it's doing. Let's see what it's doing. Do this. That's a good time for that. Okay, so that attack hurts a little bit. <laughs> oh, come on, don't let it bug you. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> that is terrible. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. That was nice. Yeah, damn, that's the attack that tends to get me. Oh, I thought I dodged it that time. I fucked up. Man, just nail me with that each time. Alright, that time I dodged it. Alright, dodged it that time. I don't know what the hell that is, but I never want to be a part of it. Oops. Yes. There we go, we got him. Okay. Hey, Sal, what's going on? You got us in the middle of a boss battle, so it took me a <laughs> So now I know I can actually look at chat. <laughs> let's go, let's get him. Oh my goodness. So yeah, right before, I don't know when you got in, right before that started, I, I'm looking around, I've got, so in real life, I've got a horrible phobia of bees, right? So, uh, so I just walk into that boss room and I'm looking at all these homie comes and I'm just like, oh, oh no, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, I thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. See, so yeah, I definitely check out I Am Sal. 
He's awesome. <laughs> Fucking bees. <laughs> Oh my god. See, I beat that boss on the first try. Granted, we, we had to use a couple of uh, couple of uh, health items there. Uh, but I but I didn't have a panic attack. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fucking fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh my god. But no, seriously, that wasn't nearly as bad. Yeah, beers. Oh god. I don't know what's worse. The bees or the bee puns. <laughs> But I love you guys. It's awesome. So let's see. We had a couple of people show up during that boss battle. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yep. Uh, oh, no, we only had we only had uh, we only had South show up. I just saw the chat going up. I'm like, I, I'll need to take a look at that in a second. Uh, but yeah, smoke of Sal. Good to see you, man. Uh, so, yeah, we're playing. Uh, we're playing East here. It's actually my first playthrough of this game. So we're going to have some fun with it. Actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to fucking save so I don't have to deal with that B thing. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a niche series. There are, uh, so fun fact, there are nine East games. We're playing the remake of East 4. It was originally... Okay, what the fuck is with this? Is this a trapped chest? Or is this a very special happy button chest? I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> About to play some basketball. Open world? Um, I, I would not, sort of, but no, I, I don't I, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't call it an open world, but it has some aspects of that. It's a pretty large game, and one of the um, one of the things you kind of do in this game is you explore the forest of Salsetta, and uh, it, it ends up being pretty big. But yeah, it's not really, I, I wouldn't call it a quote-unquote open world game. Uh, but these are great, great RPGs. The very first one was actually one of the first RPGs no, it was the first RPG I ever played. It was East Book 3 for the Turbo Graphics in like the summer of 1991. <laughs> it was a long time ago. So we got that. Looks like some kind of ancient treasure. I can feel a strange power coming off of it. It's just gathering dust here, so we may as well put it to good use, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, we will. Yeah, these are great games. Oh my goodness. All right, so when equipped, the party shrinks and can move through. Oh, okay, now we can go through all those small packages. The party's strength and dexter uh, defense are greatly reduced in the state. Great. Uh, that's fucking lovely. All right. So open the camp menu, select items, and select the artifact tab. Oh, okay. We've seen that tab. So now we know what it's all about. Oh, great. That's that's going to suck so much. Oh, oh no. All right. So let's kill these guys first. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome sauce. That's great. I'm so looking forward to this. So yeah, this is how we do this. Oh, that's... That's cute. Oh, oh, lovely. And now we have to do this shit? What happens if I undo that now? Let's find out. Let's save. Oh, okay. It, it just doesn't let you. <laughs> well, let's see where this loops us around. As long as we don't encounter any bugs in this state, I think we're gonna be fine. Like that. That's fucking terrifying. Kill everything. Okay. So we emerged there, and we could either go through that one, or we could go through that one. Well, let's... Let's do it. That's an interesting dynamic. Well, let's see where this goes. Another relevant movie quote has been clipped and sent here in box for sound alert purposes. Oh, God. Uh, no, no, no. Let's not fight that. I don't want to fight that. Oh, Jesus. Well, this is terrible. And of course, they're faster than us, because of course they are. Okay, there's nothing else there to be had. <laughs> this is, this is fucking weird, chat. <laughs> oh no! I believe you can guess which one. <laughs> That's fucking terrible, dude. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. 
So let's just go over here just so we discover this area and then we'll go. Um, just for the purposes of map completion. Because we know where this is going. We saw it. We saw the entrance to it the other way. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Nope. Nope. Run. Run, run. We'll deal with that later. Nope. Run away from it. No, we're going to bravely run away. They bravely land away. Is it Sir Robin? Yeah. Sir Robin. Sir Robin bravely ran away. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not! Oh, come on. Okay, now can I... That's bizarre, man. Hey, Durin, anytime you want to be uh, attacking this thing, that'd be great. Got a little... His AI got a little broken looking for the item. <laughs> How great. And there are different ways we can go about this. That's super awesome. We have four different ways we can go. Yeah, we'll take the level up. Fuck. Great. So we came in through that way. We got three different ways we can go. <sighs> Not looking forward to this. Shit, isn't it? Yeah, being there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's fucking wrong, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Leave it to me. Oh, Leave it to me. Let's just head over here. Okay, so actually, hold on. Wait. Okay, I see how this works. Here we go. Let's go up this way. Let's see what fresh bullshit lies over here. At this point, I just want to get through this. Wait, there's really nothing up here? Some of this bullshit. Oh, fine. Well, at least now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so many B points were like a hive mind. Oh man. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you guys are simultaneously awesome and terrible. <laughs> that fucking hurts, man. <laughs> That's probably not going to be a slate. But we'll do it anyway. Come on, let me open it. Oh. Damn. Oh, good. She learned a new one. It's a shame we have to kill these monsters in order to open the chest, but oh well. I did, like, next to no damage to that dude. <laughs> Now it'll let us open it. Oh, we got a better potion. Sweet. Wait. Okay, we've 
explored that. We've been through this. Have we been through here? I don't think we've been through here. This is definitely an interesting remake of the original. As far as the original track goes, I think I prefer the original. <clears throat> Starting to get a little too hurt here. Alright, so we got two ways we can go. And each one is probably going to be a poor choice. Yeah, but let's keep this between us. <laughs> Hopping in front of him. Oh, lovely. But wait, there's more. All right, so there's a thing up there. That's fine. Undo the brew. There we go. Right, so we're gonna need all those lead basics to open that fucking thing. You know, that's actually an interesting question I just thought to myself. The original uh, Master of the Harlequin track, the one that's playing right now, I wonder if that's an East 4 Dawn of East and, uh, and this. Now, the nice part, when you touch these monuments, we heal. So that was nice. All right. So now let's go back. So I don't think we have everything we need for this. Let's inspect it anyway. May we do. Ah, very good. Thank you for the lurk, Sal. <laughs> Feel free to drop by anytime. <laughs> we'll see you when you get back. There's one huge door. Mm, there's some kind of hole in it. Maybe you're supposed to put something in there, like some sort of key, like the stone fragments we've been picking up. Pretty complicated locking mechanism, but should be a piece of cake to get open if we had something that'll fit. Click the screen to interact with the puzzle. Oh, oh, it's going to be one of these. Okay. Drag the pieces to set them in place. If you don't have enough pieces, return to the dungeon to find more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. All right. Oh, yep. We need one more piece. Okay. Well, at least it told us so we don't have to go looking for it. But I had a feeling we, we were going to need another piece. But you know what? Let's do, let's save so we don't have to go through that walkthrough again. Back we go. Hopefully it's not too far. At this point, I'm just jumping to stay ahead of all those assholes. Interesting mechanic, for sure. Fuck you, spider. Yeah, let's get all this shit. Okay. Let's take a look over here. Ah, uh, now we can get to that treasure chest. Most likely. Uh, Alright, well now we're on this side of it. Do I have to be up here? I probably have to be up here. Give me your goodies. My turn. Give it to me. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we can walk back and forth between this part of the dungeon. Leave it to me. Let's get that treasure chest. Although that didn't look like a particularly critical Oh, yep, it is. Yep. There's our last yeah. slate. There we go. All right. Got our slate fragments here. Let's go. Leave it to me. Okay, so now we should have everything we need in this lovely dungeon. Should. Right. So, Temptation of the Master Harlequin was for the ancient burrow. What an odd name for it, though. I 
I'll actually pull up, um, before we end, uh, stream, I'll pull up the original of this. I personally prefer, vastly prefer the original. It's like water. You should too. <laughs> Fun fact. Beavers. Most people think beavers um, live in a beaver dam, but they actually live in the lodge behind the dam. All right. Oh, what the fuck? What in the holy fresh hell is this? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, they, they, they made that much easier on you than having to really fit it on there. They're the biggest thing since sliced bread, physically speaking. <laughs> Okay, but who asked? Nobody asked. That was just why I said, fun fact. <laughs> we did it. Hmm, what's that? Sound familiar to all? Oh, I've heard this melody before. I've heard this song so many times before. Ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> it's Remnos. I'd recognize the melody and the sound of that instrument anywhere. What? I'm coming, Remnos. Just hang in there. So we don't have to do that puzzle again. Although as far as those types of puzzles go, that really wasn't bad. Unless he has enough of his mind to play the song. The fuck's going no. on, buddy? Oh, actually, Karna speaking my reading my mind here. What's going on here? Isn't he the one who hurt your dad back in Komodo? You really the one with the one who fought with father? Father? Answer me, Remnos! Huh. You wanna fight, huh? It is starting to look awfully familiar. Oh, come on! We just had a boss fight! The great squeal of extermination, Glucarius? Great. What, what? How did he do that? Ah. Uh, skull kid. Okay. So this, this sucks. Wow. We're doing next to no damage. We're at, we have to be doing something wrong here. Ow! Oh, I'm paralyzed. Fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, god damn it. I'm paralyzed again? <sighs> okay, so I'm probably going to die here. Yeah, I don't have anything that could cure paralysis now. Fuck. Damn. Yeah, just let it kill me here. And what we'll do is we'll load. Yeah, let's load. Alright, so we're gonna need something to prevent paralysis for sure. Do we have anything that can prevent paralysis? We need to prevent paralysis. Okay. Well, that prevents heavy. So that would have been good before. We're gonna absolutely need paralysis. Okay. You have... Okay, you can prevent paralysis. Uh, sure. For now. Prevents paralysis. That's going to be an absolute essential here. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> I could just see that being a problem. Can I skip? I can't skip, huh? Can't skip this? Damn, I can't skip this. Sorry, chat, I can't skip it. But I don't know how to fight it yet. But yeah, the fact that we're doing so little damage, uh, be gone, per <laughs> be gone, paralysis. But now I don't have to worry about paralysis and we can actually fight this thing. Um, I, I don't know yet how we're gonna fight this thing yet, but we're, we'll get there. Yeah, unskippable cutscenes are the worst. There we go, that's how we do it. Damn. Damn. I went in there too late. Wow. Whoops. I didn't do that. Whoops. Okay, that's the right spot. Okay, that I need to avoid. Oh my god. Wow, and it just guards that. Damn, I'm getting in there too late. I did not want to do that. I hate it when it does that. I don't even know what I do. Um, I should really look up the fucking controls. Whoops. Man. Okay, this thing is brutal. Okay, so this is obviously when we want to do this. Hell yeah! Alright. Okay, so that might be the strategy here. Just try to avoid everything until it does that bullshit. And just kind of go gung-ho on it. So yeah, we put a hurtin' on it there. Holy fuck. Ow! Jeez, even without it causing paralysis, that's still pretty brutal. Yeah, it's fine. Damn it. Damn. Nope, that was a bad idea. I really wish it didn't... Here we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, asshole. There we go. Come on, buddy. There we go. Alright, we have a winning strategy here. Now get the fuck away from it. Alright. I really wish I could turn off the targeting on it, though. Like, for some bosses, it would be convenient. Damn, I keep fucking up that dodge. But part of it is the... Is the camera. I wish it weren't locked on it. Whoops. Don't even do that, Seraph. What button turns that off? Ugh. Don't think I can hold out much longer. You don't need to. You'll be fine. There we go, buddy. That's it. What the fuck? Okay. Damn. Okay, fine. There it is. Oh, get over there. Oh, 
Oh no, I missed it. I still may have gotten in, in there. There we go, we got it. For swarming you with the puns tonight. Yeah, you guys are, man. <laughs> All right, we got it. We got it. Ooh. I probably should have just let it kill me so I could have saved some of those healing items, but hard to not kill the boss once we figured it out, right? Looks like we won somehow, but this guy's way stronger than any of the others. Take that mask off. Well, if you're not going to take it off, I guess we'll just have to all do it. Wait, why is the governor general here? <laughs> You've served me well. Oh, motherfucker. After seeing the mask's power, I'd call this experiment a success. I should have known. Uh, well, I guess her chances of being my waifu are over now. <laughs> yeah, you really beat them. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Who am I? I don't see why I should introduce myself to the likes of you. But I'm in such a wonderful mood today, I'll grant you your wish. I am Bami, a magician who controls people using the darkness in their own hearts. Let's see, purple for your hair? Can't tell this is a goddamn enemy, right? <laughs> Hey, Ned, how are you, man? So, we uh, this this whole level, this uh, this ancestral bro, the uh, the whole theme of it was Temptation of the Master Harlequin, uh, although it's a different version. But uh, saw the boss fight, nice. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go rest. <laughs> yeah, on that note, all right, Maxi, have a good one. So far, it's been pretty epic. So we'll keep it up. Good to see you, man. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, yeah, let's let's do a shout out for Maxi real quick before they go. Maxi is an awesome, and I mean awesome, um, uh, um, oh my god, I can't, I'm blanking on the name now, uh, the name of the game, uh, we played the other day and I, like, totally sucked at it, um, oh my goodness, it'll just say when we do the shout out here, hello, keyboard, let's do it, let's try that, <laughs> oh, well, not Sea of Thieves, although they, they are a good Sea of Thieves player, but, um, but yeah, I think he's, uh, at least I've seen him play, um, Oh my God! Overwatch. Uh, yeah, trolled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, he's in all seriousness. Maxi is like a pro level um, uh, Overwatch player. Really freaking good. You ever want to see any really good Overwatch play? Check him out. Um, so yeah, let's continue to. What the fuck's going on here? Oh, I ended up uh, switching my game thing there <laughs> while trying to shout out Maxi. So, uh, <laughs> pro sweat. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. So now that I'm not fucking up, OBS, uh, fucking up OBS and everything else, let's get back to this. But good to see you, Maxi. Thanks for dropping by. I am uh, Bami, a magician who controls people using the darkness in their own hearts. A magician who controls people? So that's what the masks do. Oh, don't go jump into conclusions. I wasn't finished talking, you know. And it's quite rude to interrupt a lady. In point of fact, the mask isn't what's controlling him at all. Rather, that would be my magic. Observe. Well, there's Remnos. Well, if you're the one who's, if you're the one controlling him, then what's the mask for? And don't you dare say you made him wear it because you like the way it looks. <laughs> the masks are a necessary part of an experiment that has been assigned to me. It seems they have the ability to greatly increase a person's physical abilities. Well, I would say so. He sucked as a hunter before. A strength-boosting mask, huh? I guess that explains how Remnos can pull off moves like that even when he's not a warrior. No, there's something off about this. What do you mean? Where did that woman come from? That's true. It is surprising that someone other than you two came, uh, came from outside the forest. But it's actually referring to Remnos' strength. The Remnus I know isn't even as strong as those four we fought earlier, yet he was still able... Um, uh, so it's Skull Kid with extra steps, right? Was it her magic or her magic that turned Remnus? <laughs> even with that mask, he still shouldn't be able to defeat your dad or control giant monsters or anything else like that. You three don't know anything about this poor boy, do you? What are you talking about? He's a naturally gifted warrior. Much more capable in battle than you could possibly imagine, even without the mask. See? Whoa. 
Karna! How? <laughs> you still don't understand? Very well. I suppose I'll just have to be the one to teach you then. Oh, man. <laughs> He's always kept his true capabilities hidden from others. Now, why do you suppose he'd do a thing like that? Maybe she isn't the Governor General. You'd think if she were at all and, um... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe so he wouldn't hurt his poor, hardworking older sister by letting her find out how much more talented he is. <laughs> Inconveniently paced text fuck. <laughs> yeah, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> but what are you? I am a magician who could find the darkness in people's hearts and use it to control them. And he is the latest whose darkness I've chosen to manipulate. And that is all. I give you my deepest sympathies. Having a younger brother who's too skilled for his own good brings nothing but trouble. Ugh, this woman. Are you from outside the Great Forest? Of course. I'm almost offended that you'd think someone like... <sighs> someone like I could come from this backwards region. I believe I've talked for long enough. There is far too much left for me to do to keep playing with you any longer. Remnos! Still, I must thank you for one thing. I hadn't imagined I'd find something so useful in a place like this. So knows how to find your D-spot. <laughs> Don't! Wait! Let him go! Give him back! All right. So that was interesting. So that man was Remnos, Hen. You're sure? He, ever since he was a child, the slightest effort was all it took for him to achieve whatever goal he sought. He learned the skills I taught him almost instantaneously, even the art of war and hunting techniques. However, he began to hide those skills from Karna, concerned by how she would know if she knew. And eventually he'd completely dedicated himself to music and crafts because in those fields, he wouldn't have to hold back for anyone. Oh my God. All right, I kind of get where he's coming from. I have failed as a father. I'm sure Karna was shocked when she found out. I'm sorry, but I would ask that you leave her be for a while. I'm sure she'll be fine. I agree with you, of course, but it will likely take some time before she recovers from the shock. Remnos made a sad, a sad dad. <laughs> hey, come to think of it, do we have any more leads as to the identity of that magician woman? I'm afraid we don't. She's not from this area, of that I'm certain, but I know nothing more. She said the masks were part of some sort of experiment, and she didn't seem to be anyone the Governor General could have sent. The villagers who had disappeared have now gone back to their normal lives. Komodo, it seems, is beginning to return to normal. Still, this feels like the start of something much bigger. Perhaps we need to decide as a village what we will do from here on out. Adol, where do you intend to go from here? Actually, about that. Do you know where Adol headed after he left here before? Not for certain, but I recall him mentioning a village on the bank of the river. I suspect he may have gone there. On the bank of the river, huh? Sounds like the other point I marked on the map. All right, Adol, it's up to you. Where to next? Let's return to Kaznan. If you happen to hear anything more about Remnos, please do let me know. I'm forever indebted to you for all you've done here. I wish you well in recovering your memories. Please know that you'll always be welcome in Komodo. You can now accept quests in Komodo. Perfect. Ah, and we got ourselves a uh, homecoming for some. Solve the mystery of the missing villagers. Alright, so did we not... So there's that. Did we not find a shop for equipment? Oh, let's go over to that. Yay, quests! Sword training. Alright, so Lindsay's giving us a quest. Adia's giving us a quest. And you are giving us a quest. Alright. Old Qualagongos begun prowling around the entrance. Oh, lovely. So some sort of fucked up monster. Ooh. I thought I'd go out hunting with Karma and the others, but I was told to stay here and rest. Wearing that mask was the worst feeling of my life. I don't even want to talk about it. Being conscious was the whole, uh, the whole time. Oop. Being conscious the whole time, yet having no control of your body as you attack your friends? It was awful. I hope to never experience like that. Okay, so Remnos is also experiencing everything in real time. That's great. Is me or... Well, you have a quest, but I was hoping for an item shop, and I know there was an item shop in here. Am 
the fuck can't I find it? I acted shamefully at the ancient burrow. I know it wasn't myself, but I still take responsibility, full responsibility for my absence. It remains distrustful of you, but I'm not a man without manners. Thank you for freeing me from the control of that mask. Yeah, I'm looking for the damn shop. I thought there was one here. Okay, I think through the shop. Exchange materials. There we are. Yeah, I meant to do this earlier. Oh, there's... There we go. Yeah, I really should have bought the much better fucking weapon, but I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Okay, let's do that. My god. That would have made like, my life a lot easier. Hunter knives. Yeah, that probably would have been a lot more effective. Right, fine. We at least took care of that, finally. Beast leather. Yes! And one more... Okay. I got sidetracked earlier somehow. Probably when I went to get something to drink. Completely forgot to do that. That would have made that whole fucking burrow so much easier than it was, but... We're here now. Most everyone who disappeared seems to have come back. But when's Remnos coming back? I suppose this means things here can start going back to normal. Though I'm still concerned about Remnos. So it must be... Flag must be in here, right? Mess that draws out people's latent strength? I've never thought such a thing possible. Am I crazy? Alright, I'll deal with that later. Maybe it's above here. It's probably above. Probably my issue. No, it's down there. Shit. Why can't I... Oh, okay, it is here. Yes, let's give you this stuff. Yes, but that's beside the point. <laughs> oh, you brought the fresh leaves I asked for. Yep, these are exactly what I wanted. Full of moisture. Here you go. Scent really does uh, bring out the sun's rays or whatever the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, give me money. That's one down. There we go. Aren't you two... Did you come about my request on the board? Yeah, it said you want someone to teach you how to use a sword, right? So what do you think, Adol? Let's do it. Really? Thank you so much. Looks like there's really no stopping her. I appreciate you worrying about me, but I want to become stronger no matter what. Maybe I'm just doing it to satisfy my own ego. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. This will be all for nothing. But ever since that incident, I've really wanted to learn self-defense. I shouldn't be okay with just sitting around this village and doing nothing simply because I'm a girl, after all. I don't expect to be as good as Karna, but I want to be able to hold my own, you know? You're really serious about this, huh? All right, fine. I understand. If this is what you want. Then go for it. No, you definitely got the enthusiasm. You know, it's a full of fight, don't you? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't use a sword like Adol, though. You want to learn how to fight, too? I don't mind teaching you the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat if you want. No, that's not why I was asking. I was actually wondering if I could ask you a favor. Huh? Would the two of you be willing to have a duel just to show us how it's done? Ah, here we go. You're curious about Adol's strength, too, aren't you? Besides, wouldn't it be best to see what a real swordsman could do before you start learning yourself? Well, I guess that is true. That's actually not a half-bad idea. I have certainly no injections. How about you, Adol? Do you feel like testing yourself against these knockout knuckles? Love to. Let's do this. Alright, then. May the best man win. Gulp. <laughs> this looks like it'll be quite the exciting battle. Let's see if this is a cinematic or if I'm actually going to have to fight here. You both ready? Yeah, just give us the cue to start and we'll be off. Well then, get ready. And fight. Yep. Ow. Yeah, well, that's convenient. Man, we're beating the shit out of each other. Got him.
Oh man, I can't believe I lost. <laughs> that was a good fight. Yeah, it was. Wait, are you just placating me? <laughs> Sore winner. <laughs> Not gonna make any excuses though. You won, fair and square. It's always interesting watching men talk amongst themselves. You both did wonderfully. Yeah, I learned a lot just watching you. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Oh yeah, you called us here to train you, right? We're gonna run out of time at this rate. Right. I'm ready, Adol. And now we train and get some money. Yay, money! Thank you so much, Adol. You've got potential, that's for sure. <laughs> really? I have to admit, I'm kind of surprised by how quickly you pick things up. I'm sure you'll be a fine warrior, Lindsay. Thanks. Well then, Adol, thank you again for all your help. It's not much, but please accept this. Cover some of our losses there. Me too. Thank you for humoring my request. Here's a little something to show my appreciation. There we go. We probably got an extra 200 gold for beating him. All right. Oh, defeated Durin in 101 combat. Yep. So there's that. Okay, we had a couple of quests. I did two of them. And already I've kind of... There's the chief. We've already talked to you. I've already kind of forgotten where the quest board is. <laughs> no, the quest board's over here. Okay, so... Cleared that one. Cleared that one. Alright, so now there's just this one. Dangerous giant beast... Golwanga prowling around the entrance to the woods. Okay. So we just got the beast to clear. I've not played the original East 4. And it's always a little confusing because there are technically two original East 4s. <laughs> um, there's the Dawn of East that was for the Turbo Graphics, and there's Mask of the Sun that was for the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's goofy, right? Let's save. Oop. Oh, wow. Commander Leo did manage to meet it. Managed to make it through eventually. This fucking ass clown. Halt, men. We have reached our destination. The large tree. Aww. I'm exhausted. And I'm so hungry. Oh, boy. We've been running in circles around the forest and chased by wild beasts thanks to the commander, so I totally get you. Fools! <laughs> Uh, both, neither one were technically made by Falcom. So Falcom outsourced it. Um, the one for Turbo Graphics was East 4 Dawn of East. That was made by Hudson Soft. And then Mask of the Sun was for the Super Nintendo, and I forget which company made that one. Um, it's correct, Dark Star. Both of them weren't. Um, so later on, but Falcom gave them the general outline of what they wanted. And then they, they, some, so Hudson Soft took more liberties which is why when Falcom ended up remaking East 4, this game, this is Falcom's version. And so this is why this is Falcom's official canon version, because they were like, yeah, we're just going to do this one ourselves. Um, and I don't think it's a coincidence that those two games were, I think those were the last ones that Falcom outsourced. I don't, I don't think that's a coincidence. That was a survival training exercise. I devised to help prepare you for the possibility of being stranded in the forest. It was? What? No, I'm pretty sure he's just lying to try and make it sound like it wasn't a huge waste of time. I am not. <laughs> yeah, right? Anyways, always think positively. That's my motto in life. Now get a move on. We've got an investigation to carry out. Oh, my God. Leo is such a hey. ass clown. What's a motto? Hmm. Oh, my God. Beats me a kind of delusion, hey. maybe? <laughs> what are you imbeciles doing? Move yes, out. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they're clearly the uh, the comedic relief of this. No What's a paladin? So you laugh, but in this game, we had a moment of uh, we've had a couple of moments like that, and I'm like, you know what? Adol's got amnesia at the start of this. That's totally okay for him to be like have these. What's a paladin moments? <laughs> Man, can't believe they actually made it through the forest labyrinth. They're persistent. I'll give them that. Now we've got to plan our next move. Karna's dad mentioned another settlement near the river. We're done here for now, so why not head there next? All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, I could just go amongst all these into the ancient burrow. I think at this point we have explored the entirety of that ancient burrow. 
Although it looks like there's something up here that we didn't do. So you know what? Let's go to the entrance and let's just backtrack. See if there's anything up there we may have missed. Oh, there is. There is. We did not go up in that area. Yeah, fuck you guys. Wow, that was a lot easier. Oh. I can't believe I didn't upgrade my equipment before going in the fucking ancient burrow, though. That was supremely stupid. Talk about making it work anyway, despite the horrendous handicap. Yep. Lower the drawbridge. Heels and melees. That's a paladin. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So now we're back here. All right. All right. Now let's cross this drawbridge. we go. Perfect. That's the other way out. Let's head back this way. Yeah, yeah, whatever, guys. I really don't feel like fighting you right now. Not worth my time. Up here we go. This should be our next monument. Perfect. We go over here. Yep, Forest of Dawn East. we go. Back to Kaznan we are. Let's see if there are any other new quests over here as well. There might be new quests. Compared with nature, we humans are truly powerless. That's why we must support another. You must understand you're not alone. That's the most important part of living. True. Hey, do you sell anything new? It'd be really nice if you did. No? No? That sucks. Okay. So this shop is always going to be kind of behind, I guess. Unfortunate. I wish they'd gotten some new stuff, but not that big a deal. Where is the cat? We have nuts now that we give it kind of curious to see what that cat does if you give it something. Alright, so you are not the wizard we just talked to. Griselda. Oh yeah, you're 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 totally different. The only thing in common is the purple hair. Ah, oh, greetings. It appears your exploration of the Great Forest is proceeding smoothly, but you've found something significant, I trust. May I ask for details? Whoa, how did you work that out? We haven't said a word yet. I suppose you could call it a lucky hunch. Would you be willing to share your findings with me? You need only tell me whatever you're comfortable with. Well, Commander Lido has already gotten that far too. Telling her we found a village shouldn't cause any problems. Adol told Governor General Griselda that they had discovered a village built around a large tree. Interesting, that's a significant find indeed. While I would like to know about it in more detail, the mere discovery that such a place exists is quite the development. It seems my expectations and you were not misplaced. I'll be eagerly awaiting your next report. Report Mac progress. I've kind of reported progress on Mac. Let's hear it. Yes, give me, give me money. I mean, exceptional progress to have us filled this much space in such a short amount of time. Here's a report of our efforts thus far. I like money. I don't think there's any more. Okay. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure we didn't get enough to warrant multiple rewards. And we did not. Now we just have to track down that cat. Where is the cat? Large notices displayed advertising a job to draw up a map of the Great Forest. Oh, yep, we already know that one. My armor's made of the legendary... Wait, what is that? Ultra Hyperium. <laughs> yep, good old Unobtainium. There's this cat. Yeah, yeah, let's give it a Chico nut. We're not giving it a rotting fruit. Fuck that. It seems pleased. 
Huh. All right, I'll have to come back later. Do I try stroking it? I don't know if I'm brave enough for that. What if it bites me? <laughs> well, maybe there isn't anything to do with that cat. You just say the same things. Yep, you still say the same thing. Okay, nothing new here. But we check. Okay. The end's upstairs. Right? I think this is the end. It's been a while since I've been in Kaznan. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Okay, cleared, cleared. Oh, we we cleared all these. All right, no new no new quests. All right, let's go back. I was kind of hoping there'd be something new to do in Kaznan, but I don't see anything. Yeah, I guess there really isn't anything new to do in Kaznan. We've checked all the usual spots. All right, let's head back. See if we can get through that other place. Right, because we've let's check the map. We have explored everything around there. That's our next spot. Because we've gone through the waterfall cave. There's nothing else in there. We still don't have whatever we need to to get through that or that. We're still stuck as far as I'm aware. But that shit, we didn't get anything in this area. So I guess the next stop is the this great forest icon there. All right. Do this. Let's do this. I mean, I could go through the beast planes without warping, but... Yeah, let's just go right here, make our lives easier. kicking that badly fine <laughs> I think when we went down that way we explored everything right yeah I think now we just have to go through this I think it's time to do this now and interesting now that it's time to do this our third companion has left so uh, it must be a game balance issue I've been wandering around in this place now. I should never have decided to follow those two explorers. Alright, so I bet you it's going to be something similar. So of course we have no... Oops. Wait. That was here, right? Hey, aren't those two... But Rabbit, we need to go right here. I finally figured out the solution. We just have to keep heading downhill. Shut up, we're going left. <laughs> Come on, Rabbit, stop being stubborn and listen to reason already. I'm really confident that I'm right here. Don't, uh, don't you want to get out of this forest labyrinth? I'd rather be lost than have you tell me what to do. <laughs> and if you're right, that might not be the only way. There might be more than one right answer here. I'll find my own solution. Oh God. It's like talking to a wall. Guess they're explorers. They must be more skilled than they look to make it this far into the forest, but I get the feeling we should keep our distance. They don't seem like the type that we want to get mixed up with. So I'm going to go right up and talk to them. <laughs> now everything in life is just one right answer. See, aren't I smart? You can fool yourself. Really isn't. <laughs> Took us this long to work out that you're supposed to head downhill. She never listens when she gets like this. I'm just going to have to keep my mouth shut for a while, I guess. Not that destruction. I think it's going to be a similar thing to the last time. Unless that really is the solution, just go downhill. Maybe it's not going to be the same as last time.
I don't see a flower. This whole not having a map in this part is really disorienting. Like, am I even in the same map? Like, am I just going to the same map again? It looks different. But I can't tell. It would be interesting for him to give you the answer, though, wouldn't it? It's not, it's not downhill. Maybe it is just downhill. <laughs> Maybe this time they just tell you the answer. That's pretty convenient. Alright, I guess so. Yeah, Misty Peak exit. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay then. I guess it really was that easy. Get the hell out of here, then. So it was slightly different. I was looking for a flower this time. I just blum uh, blundered my way through it. That one was an easier puzzle than the other one. Uh, the presence of peace can no longer be felt in the surrounding air. Ah, okay. So we're going to have a campsite. And more memories. Yep, there we go. Let's do this. Let's get more memories back. So we theoretically could have done this first. And I guess we would have hit some sort of roadblock to make us go back to the village of Komodo. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories, sealed in the back of his mind, once again returned. Okay, this is interesting. It is said that the Sparta, uh, Spartas, which live in the area, in this liver, uh, in this area, originally came from the primeval lands. The Spartas are sacred beasts, bestowed upon this world by God. There are some who say God resides in the primeval lands, even now. But since no one can get there, no one really knows. Hmm. At all. Looks like you remembered something else. What is it this time? I was talking to a young blonde man. Young blonde haired man. Not someone from Komodo, then. I wonder if it's someone from that settlement at the river that Assad told us about. Should be almost there now, so I guess we'll find All out right. soon enough. Let's get moving! Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible on the map. Pretty sure we got all of the memory fragments that we could have gotten before. I think. Oh, well, that's interesting. I mean, tch, we can even see the settlement. It's right there. <laughs> Although I'm guessing it's going to be a little more tricky to get to that one than just... Descending the hill. Alright. Although by going to Komodo first, we've got some pretty good weapons. Wow, I'm glad we did it in that direction. Jesus, that would have been hard. Yeah, alright, fine. Oh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. And there's nothing over here other than this. Great, I'm so glad I wasted my time coming over here. Let's see what's going on. At this point, I just kind of want to get a little bit of a lay of the land here. Man, nothing but rotting fruit. Well, I'm guessing we've already reached our uh, village here. There's a bridge here. Ow! 
bastard. Alright, what do we got here? I came down to that area. There's probably water over there. Yeah, maybe I should go check it out then. Let's just do it really fast. Oh, that's going to be a ruin. Hmm. Okay. I can't get to that. Ooh, I can get to that. All right. Well, that was nice. Let's see what's over here. I'm inclined to go to the town first, but let's just find out what this ruin at least is called. Sacred Beast's Lair? Yeah. Let's just leave. <laughs> we'll do that later. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to have to go there immediately after going to the town anyway. So we got two possibilities here. All right, <laughs> we found the village first. Man, this thing's huge. Place is even more amazing up close than it was from the plateau. Same goes for Komodo. I seriously can't imagine seeing anything like this outside the Great Forest. I think we safely assume this river is the one we heard about. Hey, you two, don't just stand there. You'll lure the monsters. Come into the village where it's safe. Wait, wait, you're. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I love how they just look at Adol immediately start running. Adol, I'm getting a real case of deja vu here. <laughs> That's fucking great. Hey, you with the red hair, you've got some nerve showing your face here again. Oh my god, really? It's your fault we can't fish anymore. <laughs> Don't you dare think we'll let you get away with it either. This village could be on its last legs thanks to you. Figures. Come on, Adol. Hurry and remember whatever it is you screwed up. I have a... I might have a very faint idea. Really? Well, speed it up so you can clear my name then. Wonder what happens if Adol says that. Oh, doesn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, if I had gone the other way, I probably would have remembered another memory, but... I'll have to do that once we're allowed to move. Oh my god, it's literally the same fucking thing. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking hilarious. How many times do I have to tell you it doesn't remember anything? Can you prove that? Well, no, but... And this conversation's over. You're gonna get me in trouble if you keep yammering on, so stay in there and shut up. Come on, Adol, this is your doing, apparently. Say something, damn it. What did I do exactly? Stop playing innocent. No one from this village would do such a thing, so it has to be you. Such a thing being, don't play dumb, you know exactly what you did. You poisoned the river. Yeah, something, damn it. I, what, no what, way. fucking poisoned the river? <laughs> and not just once, but many times over, each time killing more and more fish. I see. Naturally, Adol is the one, one, number one suspect, being the only outsider you've ever seen, ever, I guess? This is just like what happened in Komodo. So did everyone actually, anyone actually witness him poisoning the river? The village's whole survival depends on our ability to fish. Everyone here knows that, so why would any of us do such a horrible thing? Okay, okay, calm down. Sheesh, you checked the whole area thoroughly, right? Of course we did. We went on to the Spartas and searched every last bend. What's a Sparta? They're the sacred beasts that we raise in this village. We can't fish without them. But enough with the chatter. For the last time, be quiet. I don't have time to explain any of this to you. Till we figured out what to do with you, you'll remain here. And you'll remain silent. Sacred beasts, huh? Hmm. You remember anything about them? Yeah, the memory I just had. That blonde-haired dude. 
seems sus, right? <laughs> Why did they let the river get poisoned more than once, right? <laughs> Beyond two times, that seems like a major security issue than anything else. Yeah, right. No shit. Adel had a slight headache and was feeling mildly dizzy. Ah, oh, here we go. Memories. <laughs> when Eric of someone crossed in the forest, I had expected a well-built adult warrior. I had not expected a, uh, a delicately built young man younger than even me. Regardless, I honor the skill and courage you have displayed by crossing the territory of the beasts. My name is Ozma. My tribe is responsible for rearing the sacred beasts known as Spardas, and I currently serve as Selray's leader. <laughs> you seem to be a very inquisitive person asking about the Spartas. Unless it's an inside job for an insurance scam. I can see why the fishermen were co coerced into bringing you here. Is everyone from the outside like that? Since you're here, I wish to know more about life in this village. I will gladly tell you of the sacred beast, if you wish to know, rather. We keep the Spartas in the building to the west of here. Come with me and I will show them to you. Oh, and now we've got... A new tour. Yeah, there's nothing else up here. Okay. How do I escape? There we go. Building to the west of here, huh? Oh, it's literally just another way out. Okay. Assume this is west. Yay, there we go. Man, those things are pretty fucking big. Holy crap. This is the building where we raised the Spartas. The livelihoods of everyone in this village are sustained by fishing. However, the rapids swirl perilously, and the river has many different depths along its course. Given those conditions, can you imagine what it would look like, or what it would be to, like to fish on a boat? The boat would be smashed to pieces. Not quite, but you would be swept along with the current and pulled toward the center of the forest. You have a distant look in your eyes. Is everything alright? At any rate, this is why the Spartas are useful here as they could freely swim in the rapids. The fishermen of Selray fish uh, while riding these creatures. Without the Spartas, we would not be able to survive in this environment. They are the beasts granted to us through divine providence to enable our survival. Thus, we call them sacred beasts. I must be boring you with all this endless history. Why talk about them when we're right here to be met? Take a closer look. Their limbs and tail allow them to swim freely through uh, even the most turbulent of rapids, and the protuberances along their body, particularly on the head, provide the ideal body for treading water at high speeds. Well, that's pretty cool. Those blades on their head, in fact, are the origin of the name Sparta, which is an old term for the uh, edge of the sword. While they're technically beasts, Spartas are docile and intelligent. They obey the orders of the villagers with little resistance and rarely act violently. Oh, great. Which means they're going to act violently to me. We attach saddles and stirrups to them so the fishermen can climb on top. Oh, there's a baby. Oh my god, it's so cute. That is an infant Sparta. Oh my god, you gotta go. It's so cute. Spartas develop very quickly, so it will not stay that way for long. It'll soon become much larger. Spartas originate for, uh, from upstream. We bring them here when they are infants and raise them in this village. Oh my god, that thing is fucking adorable. Building is the only place in Celery where the Spartas are raised. The reason for that is I am forbidden from telling the other villagers how to rear and care for them. Oh, that's interesting. Why? Because that is the law of my tribe. I am now the last remaining member of that tribe. So, has your curiosity about the Spartas been sated now? It is late. I think it's enough for one day. Love to care for one. <laughs> you appear obedient, but it seems you can be surprisingly stubborn. And as I just explained, I cannot allow anyone else to take care of the Spartas. Naturally, that includes you as well. However, I am intending to ride one out of the river to familiarize it with human behavior and expectations. I will choose a docile one for you, if you would like to ride it alongside me. Ah, uh, and this is where we had that memory. I had no idea you would be such a natural at this at all. Oh, we got the temptation of Master Harlequin again. 
but I feel I should probably warn you of one thing. Take a look at the opposite shore. Currents become significantly faster as one approaches. Even on a Sparta, it's not possible to cross the river completely. I would urge you not to get too close. So how do you cross over there? No. <laughs> no one knows. No one's ever been able to cross the river safely to find out. We refer to the area on the opposite shore as the primeval lands. Ah, there we go. It's said that the Spartas which now live here originated from those lands. The Spartas are sacred beasts bestowed upon this world by God. Some believe God resides in the primeval lands even now. And since we are unable to confirm, none can say with certainty. Brings that all full circle. All right, base defense goes up by another. So you met some guy called Ozma here, huh? Well, you really you really don't seem like the river poisoning type to me, but it's totally possible you let yourself get dragged into something, wound up unwittingly taking part in this mess. Either way, it looks like we need to meet this Ozma person and see what he has to say. Time to get the hell out of here. I don't knock down the door. Again? What is it this time? I want to see Ozma. Are you for real? Do you honestly not understand your position right now? Ozma's in the middle of a meeting wherein he will determine what's to be done with you. And even if that weren't the case, he's an essential figure in our village. A brilliant leader, particularly considering his age. We would never allow him to meet with the likes of you. What? What are you... That's really not a good idea. What's happening out there? I'm guessing Ozma's showing up? Yep. We meet again, at all. Although you look really perturbed. <laughs> I've been informed of the situation. No so you were worried about Adol and came to see him, huh? That'd be an awful big help right now. So you're going to convince everyone that Adol here doesn't remember anything and didn't do anything wrong, right? Adol, is this man your friend? He's a great friend. I see. Really, you ought to choose your friends more carefully then. Hey, what the hell, man? I'm right here. You said your name was Durin. You need to think your position through a little bit more carefully. Let us assume that Adol did indeed lose his memories. How does that fact prove his innocence in this matter? Such reasoning will not persuade a soul. Certainly not mine. Well, yeah, I can't really argue with that. Does that mean you suspect Adol too? I still am uncertain what to believe, so I came to speak with Adol directly. Adol, I have a proposal for you. You are truly innocent of this crime. That would mean the real culprit must still be out there. If you could find this real culprit, then only then will I trust your innocence. Will you agree to this arrangement? I will. I see. Very well. There's no time to waste, then. I will tell the villagers to cooperate with your investigation. Investigation? What are we supposed to do exactly? Naturally, you'll be allowed to walk around the village. I will... I will accompany you to supervise your actions. That way, you'll be able to conduct your investigation without worrying the villagers. Hey, it works for me. But are you sure it's all right to lead around suspected criminals when you're the guy in charge? People might think you're on our side or something. No. I do not take sides. Proving a suspect's innocence or guilt is one of my duties as village leader. And the first step towards ending is, I do what is best for Sel Ray. Okay, so this place is called Sel Ray. That's good to know. I could see why they look up to you here. They probably said that before. I just... I just must have missed it. But yeah, thank you, Ozma. Think, think nothing of it. As promised, I have explained the situation to all of the villagers, and I have asked them to cooperate with your investigation. So do speak your mind on any questions you may have. Kind of makes me nervous, seeing as we haven't proven our innocence yet. Okay, let's go see if we can find any clues. Okay, so that's the dude it showed us as our third companion before, which is interesting. Maybe we were supposed to get him first? Hey, this place is poison. Let's go in the river. Like, immediately. <laughs> And in second thought, Seraph didn't think that through very well, did he? Okay, can't get through there. Can get through here. Nothing really to explore here. Guessing I can get back over here. Alright. Explore more of the map here. What's this? Okay, a, clearly a church of some sort. Ah, at all. It's great to see you. Didn't think you'd come back here. Who might you be? My name's Gazak. I'm... Wait, you're not serious, are you? 
<laughs> you didn't forget me, did you? Actually, yeah, he forgot you, for sure. Adel and Durin explained the situation to Gazak. <laughs> you lost your memories. Hmm, I see. That's terrible. You're a lot more understanding than the other villagers for, you know, him forgetting who you are and all. Well, Adel and I became good friends when he last stopped by. I can't believe people suspect you'd poison the river. I know you'd never do such a thing. I wish there was something I could do to help, but I've spent so much of my time in the forest lately, I doubt anyone's going to believe any defense I could put together. In the forest, what were you doing there? One of Gazak's interests in ex uh, exploring old ruins. <laughs> yep. I lived in the forest all by my lonesome until a few decades ago. I got pretty used to it, really. You're kidding. Man, you must be pretty tough to have uh, survived in a place like that for so long. <laughs> but of course. That's why people call me Gazak the Strong. Oh, but don't let me hold you up. Looks like you got more important things to do than stand around and chit-chat. We apologize for taking up your time as well. Come on, let's get back to asking around. You have a, are you a shop? Are you just a dude? I'll have to hear about you lost your memories. Still, try not to worry about it too much. Worrying won't help you. Okay, so... Gazak, uh... Alright, so this Gazak the Strong Guy is pretty cool. But, other than that... Let's see. Gazak said he used to live in the forest all on his own. But he said it was before I was born, so that's all I know. More pickards! If we can't get any fish to eat, then I'll, I'll have to know what am I thinking. <laughs> okay. So you got those. <laughs> it seems pleased. <laughs> can't get any fish to eat. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, she can't. She won't be able to bear, her, bear eating one of her pickards. All right, now we got, oh, okay, we got reinforcing in cell ray. Okay, so now we can reinforce over here. That works. Reinforce for fine. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Got a slasher DX. What would that involve? Wait, what? Select the weapon to reinforce. Select the material to use. Wait, what? Am I totally forgetting how this works? I'm totally, totally forgetting how this works. Oh, I can make a bunch of topaz in that. Interesting. You really don't look like the kind of guy I would poison a river. But also the way to you prove your innocence, I guess. Don't let us down, okay? Progress. Let's go find that weird, uh... Oh yeah, we need to go back there and kill that one monster. I totally forgot to do that. <laughs> Quick, go poison the river! <laughs> Alright, weapons are armor total. Eight statistics can be reinforced using minerals, excluding ore. X minerals can be used to raise the poison stat. Oh, okay. So we could... Weapon reinforcements... Alright, so maybe I should try to do that. No, wait, wait, wait. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Sure. Okay, so its attack is a little better. Oh, and if I use this... Okay, now I'm seeing how this works. So poison, paralysis... Oh, wow. All right, so if I use Beast Fang, it'll reinforce even more. Oh, but each time I do this, it's going to cost a lot of money. Okay, so that adds up a lot. So let's... Let's see. Yeah, that might actually be worth it. Let's do that. Cool, we'll do it another one and it'll gain a poison stat. Sweet. Yeah, that works. Fuck it. Alright, that's pretty neat. Not gonna mess around with anything else there. Let's continue to ask. Uh, let's talk. 
can fish through the poison the river only means to survival is to scavenge the forest for alternative food sources. Right, fishing, hunting, and gathering in the forest is the most difficult task. But in times like this, we need to pull together as a village. Do what we can. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I really want. Oh, yes, let's, let's buy some more of these. I can definitely use that. Yeah, let's buy two or three of those. I have two of those. That's okay, just in case somebody drops. Motherfucker. I could buy a better weapon here. Although it's really not that big of a difference. It's just four. But it's annoying that I can now buy a better weapon. Motherfucker. But we are only talking about four, so fuck it. I'm not spending that money just to improve my attack by four. I'm not gonna bother. Now let's put my Wanderer's Cloak back on, though. There we go. Let's see, who else can we talk to? Looks like Siri is hard at work today. Damn, Hacken keeps getting in my way, so I can't stare at her. Oh my god, dude, really? Wow, dude. Wow. Okay, then. Stay classy, dude. <laughs> Talk to you. You really don't look like the kind of person who poison a river, but I suppose I'll just have to wait and see how your investigation goes. Well, it'd be nice if somebody would tell me fucking interesting. That'll be all right. We'll just talk to everybody. The adults uh, all say we're not allowed to play in the water for a while. I'm so bored. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was probably not my smartest move to go right into that river. I heard you're trying to find the one who poisoned the river. I don't want to believe you did it, and Cecily doesn't either. So I hope you could find the real criminal. Oh, Adol. Aram, good luck with your investigation. I refuse to believe anyone with whom Ozma developed such kinship could ever think of poisoning a river. So I believe in you, Adol. I know you didn't do it. Alright, well, at least somebody believes us. <laughs> Turns out most, actually, a lot of these villagers are, like, kind of skeptical that I would have been involved. Well, that's good. These guys aren't nearly as hard to win over as the other villagers. Of course, there's nobody here. Oh, right. We started here, didn't we? Yeah, we started here. This is, we literally went full circle. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's go back into this... Hey, buddy, how are you? You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist. Okay, so... What the fuck? What am I missing here? River died crimson. A horrifying sight. The river died crimson? I take it you're not talking about the setting sun or anything like that, are you? The color of blood is the color of death. Yet no one was hurt. Our only salvation. So that means the poison was red. Can't imagine how much you'd need to die a whole river, though. It lasted mere moments, but the river was stained red as far as the eye could see. The source was upstream. All that remained were the corpses of the fish. We know not when the river will be pure once again. Thus the men cannot fish. It does sound pretty tough. Were the fishermen okay? The ones who were out in the water when the poison first showed up? Fortunately, they noticed quickly. There were no casualties. Several fishermen who had come into contact with the substance did fall ill, but all of them made a full recovery since. Our only salvation. The Spartas were uninjured too. Hmm, large amount of poison coming from upstream? We might be dealing with a bigger disaster than I thought. Alright, so let's go over here. Did I already go in here? I think I already went. Nope, I didn't. You intend to find the real culprit? Well, investigate for as long as you like. But if you can't find another culprit, you best be prepared for the consequences. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Bug seems a frick. Can't say I blame him. I mean, there's always a chance someone might poison it again. <sighs> now, we're not poking the frog. <laughs> Heard you're investigating the poisoning in the river. Well, try not to cause too much trouble while you're doing it, especially with the red hair. Most people here still suspect you, myself included. So if you so much as look at one of us funny, you're not going to show. Uh, we're not going to show you any mercy. Got that? There's this. I feel like I've done a full circle around this fucking village. Unless it's time to go into the 
sacred beast's den now. Poison didn't make it this far down river. As a result, the village's drinking water is safe for the time being. Oh, okay, so it was safe for us to go in the water. Uh, but I can't say with confidence it'll remain that way. If poison were to reach our drinking water, the village really would be finished. You really aren't the culprit. Hurry up and catch the real one, please. Oh, look at that. I didn't talk to, like, these people. Uh, it's so boring when you can't go out and fish. All you do is grumble about not being able to go fishing. If you got time to grumble, spend it on sorting out what we're going to eat instead. I would if I could, but what am I supposed to do? Hmm. How long has it been since the poison first appeared in the water anyway? Oh, it's you. I see you're investigating the poisoning with Ozma. Well, go on, Raynal. Answer the question. Uh, right. The poison first appeared in the river about ten days ago, I think. Ten days? Quite a while ago, and then. Is that all you have to say? Well, what? You're missing the most important detail. It happened immediately after this red-headed swordsman here left the village. But... Really? And he disappeared without telling anyone where he was going. Or even telling anyone he was leaving. Well, yeah, I kind of do that. <laughs> How could we not suspect him? There's a mountain of evidence implicating him in this. Got to admit, I see your point. Still, the evidence against Adol is purely circumstantial. We can't prove his guilt any more than his innocence. We must continue our investigation. Alright, well, at least I found those people to talk to. Try now, you might be okay. Uh, Adol. Uh, I mean, get lost, poisoner. I'm not going to help a baddie like you. Go away. Yeah, you were going to say hi. Yeah, let's give it a moral flower. Fuck it. I don't know if doing that really has any kind of effect, but fuck it. Let's keep doing it, right? Yeah, various quests are displayed on the board. I uh, have to look elsewhere. No enough of value to you. Do -do -do. Seem like a good person. Don't want to suspect you. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Never had a visitor from outside the forest. So it just seems the most plausible explanation. Please try to understand our perspective. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, can I tickle you? Sure. Yay! <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll take that free bonus. Sure. I guess because they won't let us sleep in an inn. So if you're a good-natured person, you end up with some good stuff. All right, what the fuck is going on here? I feel like I talked to everybody here. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did talk to everybody here. I've gone everywhere and talked to everyone. Now let's try and leave the village. Let's see what happens then. We need to search for clues who poison the river. I've instructed the villagers to cooperate with them. Listen to what they have to say. All right. So I missed one somewhere. Great. Fuck. Who did I miss? I talked to you two. I definitely talked to you. Right? Okay. Nope. Just retalk to everybody. Okay. Is there anybody I've missed over there? I don't think so. Let's talk to Gazak again. Maybe I just need to talk to Gazak again. Oh, shit's annoying. Okay, we talked to you. Who did I miss? Hmm. Right, I went in here. Right, this is where we can refine shit. We talked to both of them. Talked to you. Talked to you. I've talked to you. value, blah, 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 don't think you could do it. Right, we went that way, we talked to all of them. Is there a person I may have missed all the way? Yep, you're bored, got it. Yeah. Those you'll just have to do, 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 do. Nobody up here? Nope, nobody up here. We're probably just missing somebody, because we... There were a bunch of villagers that had, like, a cinematic... to you again. I'm gonna... Man, I feel like poisoning the river up 
Oh, I must have missed this dude before. Ozma, you're wasting your time if you think you're going to be able to prove their innocence. That redhead there is the culprit. Nothing will change that. Do you have any evidence to back that claim, Rivari? Rivaro? Of course, the poison came from upstream, right? And upstream is the dwelling of the Spar uh, Spartas. Oh, so the sacred beasts live upstream? How does that prove at all is the culprit? There's no one from this village would dare go upstream and approach the sacred beast's dwelling. Not unless they were one of Ozma's tribesmen, anyway. But there's only one of those left, and it's Ozma himself. So the only one who could have gone upstream to poison the river from there would be an outsider. And those are in pretty short supply. Is that all you've got on me? Yeah, of course your plane isn't. It's pretty much all you've got left. Naturally, there's plenty more evidence than just that. You were asking about the sacred beast's dwelling, you know. Yeah, he's like that. If there's something new and exciting to explore, he wants to explore it. It's in his nature. Say what you want. He still did it. Don't you have any shame at all? You could spare yourself a lot of embarrassment if you just confess. I've said all I have to say. I don't want to talk to you any longer. Go away. Never return. Man, at all. You don't really seem to be too popular around here. Guess you do stick your nose in everybody's business, though. So it's not really any surprise. Okay. I think we've got enough information Adol. to start with, at least. Let's go through what we know and see what we can sort it out. First, let's see. When did the villagers first notice the poison? After I left. Yeah, they noticed it just after you left, Sil Ray. And that's why you're getting blamed for it. Next question is, how did they notice it? The river was dyed red. Yeah, it seems whatever was in there colored the water red. Must have been a hell of a thing to see. But where did the poison originate from? Upstream. Yep, that's right. If it came from upstream, it must have come from somewhere outside of Sil Ray. All right, Adol. If you add all that together, who stands out as the most likely culprit? Wasn't a person at all. What leads you to that conclusion? It makes sense when you think about it. You need a whole lot of poison to dye an entire river red. And if it came from upstream, that would mean someone poured it into the river from somewhere outside the village. No way anyone could lug that much poison through monster-infested woodlands. Not on their own, like Adol would have been. I mean, I'm not saying it would be impossible to poison the water from upstream, but to dye the whole river red? Hmm. It does seem rather implausible. So your conclusion then is that the culprit may be a natural occurrence or a creature. Adol, and you said your reign was Durin? Could I ask you for... Oh, I hit the button too fast. <laughs> Could I ask you for some assistance, I think he said. But all right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, I feel sick. <laughs> We're probably going to wrap up pretty soon here. Adol, I can't believe you're okay with all this thrashing. Is that a bird? Lucky thing up there all graceful while we're stuck down here on all these, these things. Well, that's an interesting construct. Oh crap. Is that... It's quite a contrast. Yeah, I could see why this would have tipped off the people's Saray that something really was not right. Isn't it harmful to the Spartas? Okay. Should be far enough. Adol, I feel I must apologize to you. What? Why now? You don't need to apologize. Hmm. You are a very forgiving person, Adol, and you do not ask uncomfortable questions of others. But you deserve to hear the truth. I know the culprit that poisoned the river. Then why put me through all this, motherfucker? Really? So why'd you keep quiet about it all this time? My reason hardly makes up for all that you two have been through. As you suspect, the poison was not put into the river by a human. Rather, it was the Spartas themselves that befouled the water. What? Far upstream lies a Sparta breeding ground. I am almost certain that they are responsible Hold for this on. incident. Aren't the Spartas sacred beasts? What kind of sacred beast goes around poisoning rivers? The Spartas raised in Sel Rey are not able to do so. Wild Spartas, however, are known to secrete a poisonous substance when they become excited or sca uh, scared. Seriously? Well, obviously the villagers don't know this, but why didn't you tell us before, man? I'm truly sorry. The people of my tribe have raised Spartas for ages, all the while obeying the ancient laws pertaining to them. And those laws forbid us from telling others the secrets of the Sparta. Okay, that explains why he didn't tell us either. This includes the fact that wild Spartas bear poison. 
So you're freezer bring us all the way up here, but just keep anyone else from hearing you. So I mean, something like this has happened before? No. As far as I'm aware, this quantity of poison never been found in the river prior to now. Those not of my tribe are forbidden to approach the wild Sparta's breeding ground, and have been for as long as I know. I was told that this was to avoid angering them, but of course protecting their secrets was also of the utmost concern. Let's go upstream. Wait a second, Adol. You know what this means, right? We're not allowed in the Sparta's breeding ground, which means we just have to leave this to Ozma while we go back to the village and relax. Actually, while I reason it's quite brazen of me to ask for a favor after causing you so much trouble, I would be most appreciative if the two of you would come with me. <laughs> Why? Ah, uh, yes. Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> right, so you can you remind us where we're going? As you wish. The Wild Sparta Breeding Ground is situated south of Selray. Yeah, we went there already. On that drawing you call a map, it would be about... Yeah, we've already been there. We just went to the very start of it. Oh, we're at 41%. Now she would give us more. Oh, well. Here, I believe. So as long as we follow the river south, we'll be there in no time. Doesn't seem too far from here. Indeed, the entrance is situated near a waterfall basin. It's difficult to miss. I've told the villagers that we are continuing the investigation. Make sure you are properly equipped for the perils that await before leaving the village. All right then, let's do this. If you're not helping, there's part of the problem. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. I have no words. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking great. All right. So fortunately, we've already upgraded. We've done everything we've kind of needed to. So let's just get the hell out of here and we'll go over there. Let's go check this thing out. Let's do this. Take care if you're going out, Ozma. We're always here if you need us. Now, we do need to go south, but there's a memory up here. Let's go get it. There we go. Let's touch the lane. This sound alert's for you! <laughs> uh, oh, we got another memory with Ozma. <laughs> you truly are an unusual visitor. You appear to even uh, have even more interest in the primeval lands than the people of this village do. Though I suppose that inquisitiveness is what allowed you to come this far into the forest to begin with. Perhaps you might actually be able to reach it one day. At all, if such a time should come... No, I suppose that is too much to hope for. No. My apologies, at all. Please forget I said anything. We should be returning to the village now. It seems my people wish to hold a welcoming party for you. And I would not want to be the one responsible for our guest of honor showing up late. There we go. Got a nice little strength increase. We're picking up more and more of these memories. Oh, and there's a way up. Of course, it's not going to let us do it. Oh, it did let us do it. It's kind of a surprise. Algon River Basin. Yeah, let's just... I'm just curious to explore here a little bit before we have to go down to the lair of the sacred beasts. We already know where we have to go, but fuck it. Let's explore. We'll get more of this map done. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, that thing is hardcore. Okay, yeah, fine. Ow. God damn it. Get away from it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, what the hell, right? We'll come back and kill that thing later. Oh, hey, cat. Hello, Cleo. I love you, Cleo. What you doing, kitty kitty? Who's my good girl? Ow. Fuck. really want to do is just get somewhere where I can rest. Hello, cat. Good girl. Sit on my foot while I heal here. 
We should be far enough away from everything. Hello, kitty kitty. Who's my good girl? Oh, bless you. <laughs> she has been sneezing a lot lately. I don't know if she's got a little bit of a cold or if she's uh, allergic to something like I am. Poor thing. But, you know, so I've been keeping an eye on her for the last couple of days. Well, bless you. Oh, you're going to sit on my foot? Good girl. Yep, keep my foot warm. Okay, once we heal here, we'll save. So that I don't have to do this shit again. Because we just dealt with a lot of crap. Okay. Save. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so let's not do that. Oh, wow. Oh, it's an invisible wall. We just can't get through it. Don't have to worry about it. Probably the same up here. Let's swim over this way anyway. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing of interest over here. Let's just get the hell out of here. Really nothing there? We explored everything? Yep, there was just nothing up here. There really was nothing up here. That was weird. Oh, except that huge fucking weird monster thing. I suppose if I were really patient, I could continue doing hit and run attacks and eventually whittle it down, but man, that thing hit like a truck. It was like taking out a third of my health anytime it even hit me once. I'm serious. I definitely didn't want to die just getting too close to it. Uh, right, we went that way. That's the Sacred Beasts area. Maybe we got a memory of mine over here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, okay. It's not going to let us go. Fair enough. Much like the other area, once we, once we started this, we committed to it. Those things are really kind of annoying. All right. Let's see what the story is here. More ancient ruins. This is the place. So this is the sacred beast's lair, huh? Thought it'd be more like a nest. Being a beast lair and all, didn't expect full-on ruins. Come here often, Ozma. I try to avoid coming here as much as possible, particularly as this is the place where I lost my mother and father. I cannot say I'm very fond memories of it. Well, yeah, I can see that. Really? All the Spartas raised in Selray were captured here when they were infants. My parents were killed by the poison of an adult Sparta while attempting to trap its young, but I cannot let the people of Selray know that. Why do you bear this burden alone? Because I am the last of my tribe. The laws essentially forbid me from telling the people of my village the truth about these creatures. How could I reveal to them that two of our ranks, a tribe that cares for beasts, were killed by those very beasts? Do you really need to go that far to keep it all a secret, though? Hello, kitty kitty. Oh, okay, I love you too. What, you need my foot? Okay, here you go. She was reaching up with her paw to grab my other foot. So she's sitting on my right foot because she wants to lay her head on my left foot. She's such a little shit. I get that the Spartas are essential to everyday life in uh, Celray, but surely it'd be better if everybody worked together to care for him, right? It's gotta hurt keeping all this to yourself. Do you really think you could keep it up? Okay, I love you too, cat. <laughs> the laws of my tribe are absolute. There is nothing I could do about them. It's like talking to a brick wall. All right, well, let's go in here. And I guess if we had really tried to explore this without him, uh, we wouldn't have gotten very far. This area appears to have filled with water. Look, there's a staircase on the other side. Indeed, but the water seems to have eroded the path, putting it just out of our reach. At all, we should investigate the area and see if we can find another way to reach the staircase. All right, so this would have been, would have been our, uh, as far as we could go. Yeah. Right, I'm guessing his ability will let us get through here. Let's see, let's take a look over here.
Hmm. Yep. Looks like the wall under the water has seen better days. This ruin is several hundred years old, so such a thing is to be expected. But I imagine with fissures that size, the wall should be brittle enough to break with my spear. Break the wall so the water flows out. Sounds like an idea. Try not to bring the whole place down on our heads and we're golden. <laughs> There's no need for concern. My touch is a delicate one. Oh boy. Alright, so Ozma attacks with a spear to destroy brittle walls and rocks underwater. Okay. So that will, uh... That will help us. Leave it to me. Understood. Let's try this. All right. Well. And that's how we'll eventually get up on the other way. Nice. Okay. And we're probably gonna have to do similar things to the damn treasure chests that are underwater at the moment to flood those areas. Leave it to me. Ah, okay, cool. And it just cycled us through. That was nice of it. Well, what the fuck did we just find? Whoa. Ah, all right. Well, here's the sacred beast slayer. It uh, looks kind of like a tower, doesn't it? Wouldn't have guessed this place was so big from the outside. Likewise, truth be told, I've yet to explore it in its entirety myself. Really, guess we'll just have to do the honors now then. Do be cautious, there are many dangers lurking in these depths. Does this even let us go anywhere? Oh, it just lets us go to Selray Village. Well, fine. Now let's explore a little. Oh, that that doesn't look good. Works for me. Well, having improved our gear certainly has uh, helped things along. Okay, so before before I go into any of these other areas, let's just explore this. Get some iron ore. Oh, we got a, uh, probably down there. Let's go check this out. Oh, shit, I didn't realize you could fall. <laughs> All right, so what the hell is going on over here? Hmm, I drain this water? What's going on here? What is going on here? Not really seeing anything to help us out here. Oh, what was that? Heard an enemy instead of uh, one of our guys. Is that an enemy? Yep, it's this thing. Okay. Yeah, there's really nothing I can seem to be able to do here. Yeah. Interesting. Bunch of treasure chests under there. Weird little beaver things. There. Let's go back up. There's really nothing else to do here. But if I do fall, I'll go back into that water. Well, let's go start from the bottom here. My turn. 
turn. <laughs> Let's open this. Oh no, we're gonna have another slate fragment. All right. Fuck. Leave it to me. All right, well, that works. Okay, we already got that one. Damn, missed it. Well, it missed me too. Yeah, we'll just work our way up. Alrighty then. Oh, that reminds me. Let's equip you with some cool shit. Yeah, let's have you prevent paralysis. See what kind of bullshit we can get into here. There really isn't anything I can have him uh, target here. There we go. My turn. Leave it to me. Here we go. Um, no, I want you to target that. Dude, you wasted that. <laughs> some water out of here. I don't know why we had to do that. I feel like I probably wanted to lower the water, not raise the water level. Oh, but now I could reach the other stairwell. Okay, that was the purpose of doing that. Leave it to me. Fair enough. Ooh, that was actually kind of nice. Let's go find that other stairwell. Should be over here. There we go. Now I can reach it. Here we go. I feel like I probably missed something in the other area I'm gonna have to go back to. Just kind of how it goes. Pretty sure this scene is in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Certainly making mincemeat out of everything. So we got another, probably. Feel like I should be able to break something over here. Yep, there break it is. Me. Understood. Let's go check the other one just to make sure there's nothing to be done over there, and then we'll just come back here real fast. Easy enough. We'll just go out there, grab the treasure chest, and come back. Oh, interesting. Okay. More stuff's reacting to everything we're doing in here. Oof. Okay, so this... This dungeon's... Has an interesting... Ooh. Thank you. 
Okay, so what the fuck is up with the silver axe? It's not an accessory. Oh, it is an accessory. Increases drop rate of rare items. Oh, okay. Well, we'll definitely... Let's go for that then. Yeah, I'd rather have that. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. That's pretty cool. Good job, guys. Damn it. Alright, same bullshit. Let's see. Huh. And we can't get through here, still. I don't see anything over there. Anyway, help us get there. But the fact that there are so many things that raise the water level and yet there are treasure chests below tell me at some point I'm going to want, we're going to need either an artifact that's going to kind of sink us down or there'll be an artifact that lets us breathe underwater or something and then we can swim or something. But yeah, I'm starting to lose my bearing of what, where we've been and where we need to go. I think we've done everything and yeah we've done everything in there perfect we can just leave okay <laughs> well that was a little easier right. i think last time i went up Yeah, last time we went up, so this time let's go down. Nice. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, right. This allows us to go here. Okay. We needed to do that. I mistimed that. Awkward of a spot. Okay, that allowed us to reach here and leave it to me. Leave it to me. Come here, buddy. I've got a wall for you to smash. I don't know what this is going to break yet and allow me to do now. Okay, so what is this change? Uh, okay, now we could reach that set of stairs. For fuck's sakes. Okay. Well, actually, we could just go out this way. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Leave it to me. We already restored that one. That's not the one we want. We want this one. Oh, that was a nice shot. Uh, I feel like we didn't get everything. We only got one, one spirit fragment. Oh god, we got a boss. We've got a fucking boss. We're gonna die. Oh, you know what? Let's just see what we've got. Let's just see what we're facing. 
and uh, depending on how it goes, this might actually end up being the right spot to stop for the night. But let's let's just do it since we're already here. We're already facing a boss. Let's at least take a look and see what we're up against. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Volnaki, the Serpent of the Rapids. What do we got here, buddy? All right. What are you doing? <laughs> I've got you. Oops. Nope. Ended up hitting the wrong button, but it didn't matter. We got him. <laughs> okay. Well, that ended up not being a concern. So we just needed to beat him to get past that. Okay. He did really well there. Save. Didn't even need a healing item. So I guess that leads us to the next part of this bullshit. Yep, water dragon scales. Okay, this will help us get to a bunch of treasure chests that have been in fucking water, I'm sure. Yep, when equipped, the party can swim freely and breathe underwater. Yep, that's what I needed. Dive with B, resurface with right trigger. Okay. Fair enough. Yep, that is what we needed. That's just unlocked a lot of areas in this game. Of course, not that we not that we can even get to them yet, but Decent number of things down here. Just don't remember where they are. There we go. Hey. Where can I get to that? Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so there's one. Um, where's the other one? That's this direction? Am I totally missing it here? It'd be so much easier if I could see better. It must be above. Yeah, power ring really doesn't do me any good. Yeah, there's really nothing. Okay, it's it's above there somewhere. Okay, fair enough. Is there not, really nothing else to do down here? Now that I could get down here... I guess there really isn't anything else to do up here. All right. Fair enough. This seems rare. So now where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go now? Okay, we could swim now, but I don't... I've lost track of where I'm supposed to now go. I actually kind of expected something to happen at the very bottom of this uh, ruin. So now I'm not 
entirely sure where to go. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna walk right in front of me. You can die. Alright, fine. Oh, they despawned. Okay, so we got the Miz Sacred Beast Slayer mid. Oh, we just have these two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just go through it again. Alright, but you know what? This is a good place to stop. Now that I've gotten a little, um, a little disoriented in the, uh, in the mine, I think this is a good place to stop. Oh, we're about hitting, we're about to hit the eight hour mark, uh, for our playthrough of the playthrough of this time. That's pretty cool. Let's find out who we could raid out to. Um, let me just make sure I say it. That would be super lame to title screen. Let's do that. Let's exit. Let's see, see who we could raid out to. Let's get this, uh, oh, you know what? I know what we're going to do. While we do ending stream, I... Okay, instead of that... Oops, oh, that I want. This is what I want to stop. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's fine. Um, Alright, so you know what? Just for my own amusement, because I kept mentioning it earlier, I just have to find it. Uh, do 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 Where's my East music? There's my East music. Uh, yeah, it's Dawn of East is the version I have. Um, I think it's this one. Yep. So yeah, this is the original from uh, from East 4, the TurboGrafx version of Dawn of East, the one that never actually came here. Then you can see why I'm like, oh, I know this, I know this song. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, get reduced to volume of that while we look for someone to raid out to I'm sure someone's on let's go let's go find let's go find somebody wow uh, I don't really see anybody on uh, all right so channel update this week I'm working on my lit review I don't know if I will actually be streaming on Tuesday and or Thursday like I uh, like I normally do but um, I guess we'll just kind of see and kind of um, we'll play it by ear we'll play it a little bit by, by ear and I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know what uh what i end up doing um at the moment i'm not entirely sure but um even, even if um, i'm having a productive week i'm still going to be back uh on this weekend to play a little more east uh, memories of salsetta here and uh that'll be the plan so uh yeah we're just going to call this tonight but uh, i want to thank everybody for coming out i had a blast i hope everybody had, everybody had a great weekend everyone i hope you have a great week and until next time, I will see you guys approximately later. Uh, until the next one, ciao!